touchdown to Windsor. You know, Windsor was a guy who couldn't lose. Hey, Cleveland, football is back. Gladiators football, the home opener, live at the Quicken Loans Arena. And what a night and what a game we have for you to kick off the home season. Unbelievable. I couldn't be more excited. I'm Adam the Bull. He's Dustin Fox. We're the Bull and Fox. And I can't <laughs> wait, Dustin. This game is going to be awesome. It's exciting. We get to do a show together every day, Monday through Friday, 2 to 7. But it's the first time we get an opportunity to get on the airwaves and, and call the home opener of the Gladiators. I'm pumped, buddy. Yeah, absolutely. And it's time for revenge tonight. The Arizona Rattlers took down the Gladiators in the championship game last year. We were all depressed about it. But it's a new year, it's a new game, it's a new night, and we still got the same great quarterback, Shane Austin, from last year. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Shane Austin, off to a terrific start this season. 14 touchdowns, only two interceptions, being very efficient, leading this offense to the number one offense in the enti entire conference. And how about defensively? Joe Finnessy, the job he's done this year, two-time, and they've only played two weeks, AFL defensive MVP. Five turnovers he's forced, mm -hmm. Joe Finnessy. The team has six. He's got five of them. It's going to be a big night for him. He's got to stop Nick Davila and this awesome offense from the Rattlers. Dustin, what is the key to getting revenge tonight? Well, I think you hit on it there, Bull. Nick Davila is an unbelievable player. He's a two-time arena MVP coming off a season he had last year where they won the entire uh, arena league, right? So that's going to be the, the difficult challenge defensively. Gladiators are going to have to get, find a way to get a couple of turnovers, a couple stops in this game. If they do that, have a great shot to win the ball game. Dustin, I'm ready. You're ready. Yeah. I think the Gladiators are ready, too. Let's go down to the field right now. Our third man, Kenny Rhoda, is down on the field with the latest. Thanks, guys. I'm here with head coach Steve Tun of the Cleveland Gladiators off to a 2-0 start. Coach, what's been the key to the 2-0 start so far? You know, I think a couple things. I think we've done a great job protecting our quarterback so far, and Shane's been having a lot of time to throw the ball. And on the flip side, our defensive line has gotten after. We have nine sacks so far. Uh, so usually in a game, if you can win that line of scrimmage, you're in good shape. Do you take anything away from last year's championship game, or do you burn that film and focus on tonight only? You know, we were, I haven't watched it at all. I watched it last year, and that was enough. So, um, you know, it's a new team. It's a new season. We have a lot of new players. They have a lot of new players. So uh, we're just we're going off their first two games and our first two games and uh, just taking it from there and going at it. All right, I'll talk to you a little later in the game. Good luck tonight, okay. Coach. Thank you. Steve Tun, very happy with the way things have started this season, guys. And a little revenge on the minds, I'm sure, of the players. But the motto last year was 1-0, Dustin. You know this. Adam, you know this. And that's the same motto that they're taking this year. 1-0, win tonight, and that's all that matters. Kenny, thank you very much. Dustin, yeah, that is all that matters. And this team, it's mattered the first two weeks. So far, they're 2-0. Right now, let's send it down to the field for the coin toss. Cleveland will receive. All right, so you heard it there. The Gladiators will receive. You like getting the offense on the field first, Dustin? I think it's important to, to you know, when you get the football to go down and score right away, I think it sets the tempo for the game. And, and yeah, if I'm playing in this game, I know Steve Tun's a very aggressive coach offensively. Uh, I like I like the, the mindset here of trying to get the football and set that tone. All right, right now it's time for the uh, Novacare injury report for the Gladiators. Jackie Chambers, A.J. Holderman, Andy Cruz, Trevor Costin, Colby Way, Philip Keith Manley, Tyrone Collins, Collins, and Randy Colling all out for the game. And that's the Novacare injury report. Dustin Shane Austin on the field. He is off to a great start this season. 14 touchdowns. Two picks in the first two games, both victories. He's been fantastic. Well, ever since last season when he got an opportunity to come in and be the starting quarterback for this team, obviously, you know, Deeker began the season, had some struggles. Austin comes in, did a good job. Then he gets banged up a little bit, but ends up coming back and leading them to a 17-1 season. Well, they were undefeated uh, at home here last year, so it's obviously going to be critical for them to get off to a fast start. But uh, Shane Austin, you can't say enough good things about him. It comes from... Hawaii, where he got an opportunity to play some college football, but really making a name for himself here in the arena arena, uh, arena game. Uh, Dustin, the head coach of the Arizona Rattlers is Kevin Guy, and the Rattlers, three-time defending champions in the Arena League. This guy's done an amazing job. Yeah, I mean, think about it. He, he's taken them to four straight Arena Bowls. In the last three, as you mentioned, they've won, okay? And, <laughs> And by the way, he's also the general manager. Yeah, he does, it. Do, he do, he, does it all. He does it all. He does it all for him. 
Dustin, the excitement in the crowd right now you is really it. high. You feel people it. had so much fun with this team last year. <laughs> and the team's off to a great start. Unbelievable. You talked about Shane Austin's record since taking over. How much does the crowd, you've played in front of huge crowds, yeah factor into the gladiator success well, it's always huge here in cleveland they do such a great job getting the fans in this building especially today think about this the indians are playing right now so this crowd is only going to get bigger here as the night goes on sanders has the kick at the five to the 10 going right side to the 15 and he's brought down at the 17 was terrence sanders on the return there off the kickoff for jeremy shelley and for the first time we are underway and the gladiators will be on offense dustin we've talked about Talked about it already, quarterback Shane Austin, offensive line C.J. Cobb, Jason Palmgren, and Kit O'Brien. The fullback Chad Schofield, the wide receivers Amari Jackson, Dominic Goodman, and Colin Taylor. They've all gotten off to great starts. Shane Austin under center, man in motion on the left side, he takes the snap, drops back to pass, going deep, has a man open, it's complete. Colin Taylor to the 14-yard line. Uh, Colin Taylor's a name we'll be calling all night, boy. He really stepped up at the end of last season. I play right there. Obviously, you mentioned high motion, man. Just run a nice, nice little deep post route, and Shane Austin hits him in stride. 20-yard pickup on the play. Here's the defense for the Arizona Rattlers. Uh, up, up front, Tyler Gasper, JT Gilmore, Cliff Dukes, and Antaj Hawthorne, who you played with. Yeah, I played a little high school all-star game with Antaj. In the defensive backfield, Arkeith Brown, Marquise Floyd, A.J. Kellum. There's the snap. Austin has time, throws, and it's intercepted, picked off at the six-yard line, not the kind of start the Gladiators were looking for. No, and it, it, I think it's just on a different page, this wide receiver right there. That's that's very uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic of Shane Austin. He drops back. I don't know what he's looking at here. I think you see something. There was some pressure up the middle, too, but a very errant throw, and our Keith Brown finds himself with an yeah. easy, easy interception. And, Dustin, he was basically wide open. It was yeah. almost like he was throwing it to him. I don't <laughs> Don't throw to the guys in white. <laughs> no, and we don't expect that from Shane Austin, just his third interception on the year. So we move to the other side. Arizona with the ball, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Nick Davila under center. And a whistle and a stoppage of play on the field. And a timeout called by the Gladiators, Dustin. Disappointing start to the game, but obviously we got a long way to go. It is, and, and people who are new to the arena game, a turnover like that, especially early in the ball game, can be devastating because you, you I, I kind of equate it to a to a, uh, a tennis match. You got to hold your serve, right? As, as an offense, and right now you, you basically allowed the Rattlers to to get an extra possession here, especially when you got the ball to start the game. Nick Dabble, the quarterback for the Rattlers, his offensive line: Joe Gibbs, Sherman Carter, and Will Simmons. The skill position players: Michael Benson, the fullback; Rod Windsor, former Cleveland Brown wide receiver, along with Marquis White and Kerry Reed. Windsor and Reed have not played the first two games of the season. Under center is Davila, takes the snap, looking right, now fakes to the left side, throws it up the middle, complete to the 21-yard line, and a first down, but there is a flag down on the play. The completion to Marquis White. Now we'll see what the call is from the official. Hopefully it'll be on the uh, Rattlers and bring it back. Personal foul, hands to the face, 49 defense. It's a 10-yard penalty, tax on the end of the run. First down. The penalty on the former Buckeye, Tim Cheatwood. And Cheatwood getting a little bit overly aggressive there on that particular play, but again, they were going to get a big first down anyway. Now you just sort of add a little insult to injury there. First and 10 for the Rattlers at the Gladiators' 19-yard line with Nick Davila under center. The man in motion is on the right side. Davila has plenty of time. Fires into the end zone. Incomplete. And, but there is a flag on the play. Pass intended for Marquis White, though, Dustin. Looks like we could have a pass interference on Dominic Jones. The refs are uh, conferring on the field. The officials conferring. We'll see what the call is. We'll send it down right now. No foul for pass interference. So they wave off the call. I didn't really see anything down there, so it's it's a good non-call in my mind. Well, it was a little bit close. You know, they had a, had a potential P.I. there on Dominic Jones, but... You know, I thought he got there in perfect timing, and as we get an opportunity to see the replay here in the building, it's a very, very close call. I, I agree, it's a good no call. He put the arm on yeah. the shoulder, but didn't really pull it all. Davil is under center, looking to the right side, has time, fires, it's complete to the 15. Spin move down to the 10, and he'll st be stopped right there. 
That's a Rod Windsor, the former Cleveland Brown, who was tackled at the 10-yard line. Just shy of a first down here, Dustin. Starting defense for the Cleveland Gladiators up front, Tim Cheatwood, Anthony DeGreat, Willis and Willie McGinnis, and Mike Alston are your subway starters. In the defensive backfield, uh, Finnessy, Brandon Stevens, Dominic Jones, and Tara Sanders. Of course, Joe Finnessy, the two-time defensive player of the week in the AL AFL. Davila has the snap, but there's a penalty on the play. Could be a false start. Five-yard penalty, still third down. So a third and one. Dustin now turns into a third and six. Yeah, and you, at this point in the game, you're probably looking at four down territory. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that Coach Guy on the other side of the, uh, the field is, is going to be that not aggr non aggressive, rather. But hey, look, five yard penalty here. Now defense got an opportunity here to step up. Your ref tonight, Joe Pester. The rest of the officials, Robert Bellissimo, Mark Bovis, Craig Griffith, and Jeffrey Johnson. Those are your five officials for the game. Third down and six. Rattlers with the ball. Davila drops back to pass, has all kinds of time again. Fires for the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Rattlers. Complete to Kerry Reed playing in his first game of the year. He was wide open, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, working on Tarek Sanders there in the back end there. And he just gets a little corner out. And I think Sanders got a little turf monster there. So he sort of slipped up. That's why it created so much separation. It was an easy pitch and catch for Davila for the touchdown. He's had all day yeah. to throw so far. Yeah, not a lot of pressure up front. Got to do a better job. All right, so 6 nothing lead. You talked about it earlier, Dustin. The turnovers can be killers in this league, and Arizona grabs the early lead. I mean, a team that experienced, Bull, especially with their offense as, as potent as it's been, getting their two receivers back as the PAT is up and good. A team that talented offensively, you can't, get, you can't make mistakes and get, have – Opportunities out there on the field. Jeremy Shelley with the uh, extra point. It's good. We're going to take a break. Come back with more Gladiators football. This is Cleveland Gladiators football presented by Unique Home Solutions on My43 WUAB at 92.3 The Fans. Tonight's game is brought to you by the Center for Orthopedics, your personal connection to advanced care. By Subway, the crunch is back. Get your Fritos chicken enchilada sub now at Subway. By University Hospital's Illyria Medical Center. By ABC Equipment Rental, your Cleveland home for Kubota construction equipment. By NovaCare, the exclusive and official sports rehabilitation provider of the Cleveland Gladiators. And by Unique Home Solutions, the presenting partner of your Cleveland Gladiators. And welcome back to the Quicken Loans Arena, along with Dustin Fox. I'm Adam the Bull. The Gladiators trail the Arizona Rattlers 7 0. But a decent return on the kickoff there, Dustin. Terrence Sanders returns it to the 26 yard line where it'll be first and 10. Good field position to start this dry bowl, but they've got to get something here offensively. They've got to get points. That last opening drive was not the way you want to start the ball game. And. Uh, Tell you what, you get some points here, you get the momentum back. You gotta get the crowd into it right now. And they just got a penalty in their favor, so Shane Austin starts first and ten at the Rattlers 21. He's on their center. 
drops back to pass, has all kinds of time up the middle, complete, down to the five, to the three is Colin Taylor. Dustin, great hookup, and the Gladiators are on the doorstep with a touchdown. And, and give Shane Austin a lot of credit as he stands in there with big time pressure from number 77, Antaj Hawthorne, right up the middle, and he's gonna get hit right as he delivers the football. Right over the middle, Colin Taylor is able to pick it up. We're in business inside the three yard line. Gain of 19 on the play, first and goal at the two. What do you do here, Dustin? What do you like as a play call? I run the ball. <laughs> we'll see if they do it. Shane Austin's under center. Man in motion to the left side, pitches to the fullback, into the end zone. Touchdown, Gladiators! Yes, indeed. Well, just like I said, Bull, you run the football. You get inside the five yard line, you got big. Jeremy Richardson, 6'1", he's 270 pounds, folks. A little toss sweep out to the left side, and he walks in the end zone for the Glads. First touchdown at home in the 2015 yeah. season. He was barely touched on that play, and just like that, boom, 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 the Gladiators tied up, uh, pending the extra point. Let's hope I didn't jinx it, even though I don't believe in jinxes. Don't you jinx know it, Bull. Come you on. Know that. You better make it now. <laughs> Here's the snap for the extra point. The kick is up. You jinxed it. it. Is. I jinxed you it. Jinxed I'm it. sorry, Gladiators Stop. fans. I won. That's it. All right, so we'll take a break. Gladiators trail 7-6 to the Rattlers early first quarter. This is Cleveland Gladiators football presented by Unique Home Solutions on My43 WUAB and 92-3, the fan. Welcome back to Quicken Loans Arena. The Gladiators back to within one point. I'm with quarterback Shane Austin. Shane, a quick scoring drive there. Take me through the first play and then the touchdown. Uh, well, Colin made a great catch on his uh, you know, quick post route, but uh, if, I think he got tackled at the one, and we have a little bet going on with our team. If you get tackled at the one, you owe us breakfast. So, Colin, I'm sorry you might have to owe us breakfast. We had to bring in the jumbo package. Uh, if he was on the two, though, then you're good. You're off the hook this time. What are you ordering for breakfast if he's buying them? I don't know, whatever he can afford. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, back up to you. Thanks, Kenny. 7-6 the score, Dustin, in favor of the Rattlers. The Gladiators now kicking off. Alex Trevino in the back of the end zone will kick off to R. Keith Brown. No A.J. Cruz for the Rattlers, who last week had a great week. There's the kick deep into the end zone. It's going to go off the net. Oh, it's going to go right into the crowd between the nets, and that's a good break for the Gladiators. Yeah, and the fans, of course, get to keep the foot that's right. Lucky fans going to go home with a little souvenir action. I, I just want to know what Colin Taylor is going to have to buy the boys for breakfast. Well, I, I don't think he has to because they said if he's tackled the one, he's got to buy breakfast. Oh, so he's short. He was short. He's at oh, three. Okay, so he, he, so got, he right. got out of it. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right, 7-6 our score. We're early in the first quarter, 9-10 to go. These are two of the best offenses in the league, Dustin. We should expect plenty of scoring tonight, right? A very high-scoring game. Both these teams, you know, averaging well in the, the 60s to start the season, and uh, I'll tell you what, we're off to a fast-paced start. Should be a fun one. Nick Davila with Windsor, Reed, and White as his receivers. Michael Benson behind them in the backfield. Davila under center, calling out the signals, takes the snap, looking to throw, has a man left side complete to Rod Windsor for a gain of 12 yards. Well, Windsor's a big target. They missed him last week. That's a pretty precise route there, right to the sticks. 
and gets out of bounds for the first down. Rattlers going left to right on your radio dial here in the first quarter. Davila so far, Dustin, four or five, 50 yards, including that 15-yard touchdown to Kerry Reed. Yeah, he's been uh, pretty sharp. We expected that, though. The yeah. guy, I mean, the guy has been unbelievable his entire career here in Arizona. First and 10 at the 16. There's the snap. Plenty of time again. Throw streaking down the right side. It is caught. What a catch. And into the end zone, Rod Windsor. Dustin, are you kidding me? What a play by Windsor. Dominic Jones in perfect position. Bull just streaking up the right sideline. Windsor just is somehow able to get that football hauled in. I think if Dominic Jones is able to turn a second sooner and get his inside arm up, he may dislodge that football from Windsor. But, again, pretty strong throw by Davila, and Windsor makes him pay. 34-yard touchdown to Windsor. You know, Windsor was a guy who couldn't really make the Browns. Yeah. We look at go guys like that on our show, and I may call him a scrub, but, you know, <laughs> in this league, he is awesome. And that was a fantastic play. Extra point attempt by the Rattlers is up, and it is... Waiting for the signal. It is good. 14-6 Rattlers increase the lead. Gladiators will get it next. This is Cleveland Gladiators football presented by Unique Home Solutions on 543 WUAB and 92.3 The Fan. Back live at the Quicken Loans Arena where the Cleveland Gladiators trail the Arizona Rattlers by a score of 14 to 6 with 724 to go in the first quarter. Gladiators football returns to the queue on Friday, April 24th, when they take on the Tampa Bay Storm at 7 p.m. Get $2 select draft beers and $1 Pepsi's at the game. For tickets, call 216-420-2222. Visit ClevelandGladiators.com or any Northern Ohio discount drug mart. Gladiators football is presented by Unique Home Solutions. Adam the Bull, Dustin Fox, we are back at the queue. The crowd is pumped. An early turnover, Dustin, has given the Rattlers a 14-6 lead. Gladiators really have to score on this possession. Yeah, there's no doubt, Bull. I mean, you know it's going to be a high-scoring game. It's going to be a shootout. And it's a long game. My goodness, we're only you know eight minutes into this thing, and there's already been three scores. Gladiators just got to hang tight. Got to keep sawing what is they uh, say the cliche goes and uh, keep making plays. Sanders with a turn just inside the end zone. He's to the five. Comes left side and gets brought down at the nine-yard line. And the Gladiators will start this third possession at their own nine, maybe ten-yard line. Dustin, uh, Shane Austin right now, two of three, 39 yards and one interception. A rare, ugly throw for the fantastic Gladiators quarterback. Yeah, he's great. He's fine. He's got to just settle down. I mean, he's probably a little bit amped up here. First game at the queue, home opener of the season. He's been so efficient on the year. I mean, look, 14 touchdowns on the season, now 15 touchdowns. You're going to throw some picks. It's part of the game. Dominic Goodman yet to get involved. Jackson, the man in motion, heading to the right side. Shane Austin under center takes the snap. Looking right, fires quick outside, but it goes into the crowd. It is incomplete. Right now, let's set it down to the field. Our man, Kenny Rhoda. Kenny? 
Guys, on that first interception, I was uh, talking to Shane Austin. I was talking to head coach Steve Tunn about it. It was miscommunication. Uh, Jackson should have cut in. Instead, he cut in and then cut out. Shane threw to a spot where he thought the receiver was going to be. So miscommunication on that first interception. Thanks a lot, Kenny. And that makes a ton of sense sure. because the throw didn't seem to make sense because it was really right to the defender. One, two receivers to the right, one to the left. Austin takes the snap, looking left side. Now across the middle, has a man. It is complete. Dominic Goodman for a long gain to about the 22-yard line, and that'll be good for a Gladiators first down. Goody sacrificing his body coming across the field, catches the football, and then ends up slamming his entire body into the near uh, sideline. And I'll tell you what, Goody is, is one of these guys who, who doesn't care about his body, <laughs> to, to, to be completely honest with you. Sacrifices it each and every game. Tell you what, coming off a big game last week, too. Yeah, five touchdowns last week, seven in the first two games, leading the team with 193 receiving yards coming in. Shane Austin under center, looking right, drops back to pass, rolling a bit to the right, now backs up, floats it up, and we're going to have pass interference, uh, I think, on Jeremy Kellum, it looks like. Jackson is incomplete. Flags are down. And we'll see the official call, but that's going to be a penalty, Dustin. That would look like it would have been a touchdown. It was a smart play. Defensively, you, you know you're going to give up. On the play. Pass, pass interference, 20, defense. Personal foul, roughing the passer, 77. 10 yards. So we have pass interference and a personal foul, Dustin. This will put the Gladiators in great field position to try to tie it up. We'll take first downs any way we can get them. That's right. First and 10 for the Gladiators at the Arizona 18. Jackson, Goodman, and Taylor in the game again for the Gladiators at wide receiver. That's the regular crew. Shane Austin breaks the huddle. Goodman goes out to the right. Taylor behind him. Amari Jackson to the short side on the left side. Now in motion goes Taylor. Austin has time. Fires right side to Goodman. And a good pass break up there at about the one-yard line. Nice D. Yeah, how about a good pass break up by Dominic Goodman because that was going to be an interception. True. Well, I mean, it was it was thrown, a, you know, a little bit behind Dominic Goodman, but it was going to be an easy interception by the Rattlers. I think it was Marquise Floyd out there who would have had the pick. So it'll be second down. Yeah, Jeremy Kellum. Jeremy Kellum, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, Jeremy Kellum, who just got called for the pass interference, covering on that play, and he'll cover a Goodman again on this play. There's the snap. Austin has time. Steps up in the pocket. Fires into the end zone. Oh, he overthrows Amari Jackson. But we've got multiple flags on the field. Amari Jackson was wide open. Let's see what the call is. Illegal defense, 25, Jack linebacker out of the box. It's a five-yard penalty. Automatic first down. And that's one of those rules unique to arena football, Dustin. The Jack yeah. linebacker out of the box. Yeah, he only has this five-yard window from the line of scrimmage to, you know, five yards behind. He can only move laterally, sideline to sideline. If he backs out out of that five-yard zone with the quarterback still in the pocket, that's going to be a Jack out of the box. And the critical part about it, five yards, no big deal. Put the automatic first down. Yeah, down to the 13-yard line of the Rattlers. 4-10 to go first quarter. 14-6, Rattlers on top. Shane Austin, under center, drops back the pass. Throws right side complete to Dominic Goodman, and he is brought down at the seven-yard line, maybe the six. Good job by Goodman dragging the defender for an extra three yards. Tell you, he's a running back. When he catches the football out in space, it's going to take two, three guys to bring him down, and that's what it took right there. It's an extra three yards. Dustin, we got to get this crowd going a little bit. The crowd is a little calm right now. I mean, they're a little nervous because the Rattlers last year, but it's a new season. Get fired up, people. I'm ready to go. We're about to get in the end zone here. You're going to hit him with a live from downtown oh, yeah. Cleveland. That's right. we got to get everybody <laughs> live here. Let's get in the end zone. Second down and four from the seven-yard line. Shane Austin, all three receivers to the left side, takes the snap, looking. Has a man in the end zone. Touchdown! Gladiators! Dominic Goodman for six. Little combination route by Dominic Goodman. The thing he does so well, and you see this almost every single game, especially when they get inside the red zone, he uses his body to position the defender, and Shane Austin knows exactly where to do Once he, he basically becomes a basketball player, boxes him out, catches the football right inside the end zone for the easy six. Shane Austin showed some good yeah. patience there, not panicking on you know, a short field. Let the play develop, yeah. All right, Absolutely. Gladiators going for the extra point. I'm not counting the point this time. It's 14-12. 
with 2.39 to go and counting here in the first quarter. The kick by Trevino is up. It is good. And the score is, the lead is cut to one. Rattlers 14, Gladiators 13. 2.32 to go first quarter. Things are happening at the queue. This is Cleveland Gladiators football presented by Unique Home Solutions on by 43 WUAB and 92.3 The Fan. Kenny Rota back here at Quicken Loans Arena. The Gladiators down 114-13, thanks to a touchdown grab by Goody. Dominic, take me through the touchdown grab there, your eighth of the season. Um, it was just nothing but an uh, option route. Uh, the the beat gave me um, gave me cushion, so I just snagged it out, and uh, Shane hit me on a good pass. Earlier in the drive, five plays, 40 yards. You caught one on the sidelines. It looked like you went head first into the pads. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm a little shaken up, but I had to shake it off real quick. All right, guys, back up to you. Goody with his eighth touchdown grab of the season. Thanks, Kenny. It's eight touchdowns in nine quarters for Dominic Goodman. That's pretty impressive. Adam the Bull, Dustin the Fox. Cleveland Gladiators football at the queue. 2.32 to go. First quarter, Rattlers lead 14-13. to Gladiators kicking off. Alex Trevino will kick it deep. Our Keith Brown will not be able to return it. It goes into the crowd again. Another good kick by Trevino. I'll tell you what, I like Trevino's uh, accuracy right now. He's, he's kicking it right to a spot where there's no chance of a return. And I'm sure the fans are pretty happy. They, they're taking away a couple of footballs already. By the way, Shane Austin so far, 5 of 8, 64 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Uh, as far as the Rattlers, their quarterback, Nick Davila, is 5 of 6, 83 yards and two touchdowns. And he's back on the field with Rod Windsor, Kerry Reed, and Marquis White. First and 10 at the five yard line. Some movement on the line. Pressure is Davila in the end zone. He's in trouble. He has to throw it away. But Dustin, I think the Gladiators were offsides there. Yeah, it's Unless there was movement. I think it's going to be a free play. Yeah. Although the Gladiators, Joe Finnessy's pointing at Arizona. We'll see what the call is. That was the first time they got Davila under pressure the entire game to this point. We'll see what the call is. There's a long meeting in the end zone between all the officials. Every, fl every flag I these officials have, I think, on the field. They all are. Second Here it is. neutral zone violation, 49, linebacker. Five-yard penalty, we play first down. So it's on Tim Cheatwood. The penalty is on the Gladiators. So instead of uh, second and 10 at the five, it'll be first and five at the 10-yard line for the Rattlers. You know, Cheat's a, Cheat's a veteran. Cheatwood's a veteran. He's, he, I think he realizes they're not getting any pressure, so he's thinking, all right, I'm going to do a little cheating here. Right. Let's <laughs> get, something, get going. something going. Nick Davila under center. All three receivers to the right side, Windsor, Reed, and Marquis White. Davila takes the snap. Quick shovel pass to the right side is good for a first down to Kerry Reed. Nice quick screen to the right side. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was a shovel pass yeah. full forward or if it was a, a toss back. Either way, pretty effective play, allowing them to pick up the first down. Gain of six on the play. So it'll be first and 10 for the Rattlers at their own 16 yard line as we're about a minute 15 to go in the first quarter. Remember, except for the final minute, 
Uh, the clock continues to move, except when there's uh, timeouts. Davila, first down, hands it off to the big fullback and a short gain of about three yards for Michael Benson on the carry. He rumbled for like a 30-yard touchdown last week. Yeah, you and I were watching that game earlier today yeah. from last week, the, the game against Las Vegas, and he, he had a couple of big, big plays. 270 pounds, look at that. Florida A&M. Yeah, he's huge. And they, the coach was talking about how they got him. The last week they said they got him to lose a little weight. <laughs> but he still looks massive. But he lost. He was about 300, <laughs> got down to 275. But he's got some quicks for a 275 yes, pounder. Davila takes the snap, looking to throw this time, has time, fires up the middle. It is complete for another first down. The catch made by Marquis White. And right now, the Gladiators are having big trouble defending these Rattler defenders, uh, well, wide receivers. You know, one of the biggest issues, I think, for our, our defensive backs, they call it the no-fly zone. They play with a low center of gravity because they're not the biggest guys. They're not the tallest uh, defensive backs. But you look at some of these wide receivers of Arizona, Big guy, 6'1", 6'2", 6'4", big bodied receivers. And what they're doing right now is they're working against these corners and they're using their body positioning to allow them to create a little bit of separation. Dustin, that's the end of the first quarter. Rattlers lead the Gladiators 14 to 13. What do you take out of the first quarter? What, what, what stood out the most to you? I, I look at it from a standpoint of it's pretty even. You know, take away that one turnover, we're fine. We probably have the lead right now. To be honest with you, so I, I think the Gladiators got to just got to be confident with what they're doing. Remember, the last time they played, they lost by 40 points here at home in the Arena Bowl. So to be to be able to play with them through this uh, first quarter, I think it's a, a good sign. Dustin, we're going to take a quick break, but when we return, it's the second quarter. 14-13, Rattlers with a slim lead, but can the Gladiators stop them? We'll find out next. This is Gladiators football, presented by Unique Home Solutions on my 43 WUAB and 92.3 The Fan. Back to the Quicken Loans Arena, 14-13 Arizona as we start the second quarter. Uh, for the Rattlers so far, seven first downs, 106 yards. The medical mutual stats have four penalties on the Rattler. Rattlers, there's a pass to the right side of the field, and it is complete, close to another first down. Those were the medical mutual stats for the Rattlers. Uh, so far for the Gladiators, the one big play, the turnover. Yeah, turnover. Uh, if you had to point to one, one play that stands out, you know, you look at Arizona, they've, they've made a couple of big plays there in the back <coughs> with their wide receivers. They've, they've stepped up. And, you know, having Windsor back here in this offense, I think that's been a big factor. He just caught that last one off the wall. You know, he's been targeted almost, I think, five times in the ballgame. 
Davila under center, takes the snap, pitches to the left, down to the five, or just shy of the five is Kerry Reed. Looked like he was gonna get to the five, got pushed back around the six yard line. But again, that's the second time he's done that this series, that shovel pass uh, over to Reed. Yeah, Kerry Reed's back in the offense too. He ha didn't have these guys last week, Kerry Reed, Rod Windsor, and you see them both basically be, be you know, outside of Davila, he, they're the offense, right? You get them back involved. And Kerry Reed's an interesting story. I mean, the guy was playing jack linebacker at times for this team, kind of do-it-all utility guy, and certainly a big factor for them at wide receiver. First and goal, the six for Davila. Has all kinds of time, fires to the end zone, incomplete. Big hit there by Dominic Jones. Rod Windsor was open to the end zone, but we do have, again, a flag on the play. Dustin, it seems like every play there's been a flag down. Yeah, lots of penalties right now, and I think this one's going to go against the Gladiators in the, the secondary. That's where the flag was thrown. Not been many bad throws by Nick Dabble on this one so far in the first quarter plus. Here comes the call from the referee. There's no foul for 56 roughing the passer. He was blocked into the passer. All right, they wave off the roughing. Five out of the box. It's a distance penalty, first down. All right, so roughing the passer waved off, but there is a jack linebacker out of the box. So first and goal now at the three yard line, the Rattlers in great shape. We'll see if they run with the big fullback, Michael Benson. First and goal at the three. Davila with a man in motion to the right, takes the snap, looking right side. It is incomplete and there's another flag on the play. And that's probably gonna be on the Gladiators as well, Dustin. And Dominic Jones matched up there, I believe with Kerry Reed. He gets a little over aggressive. Two defense, at the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Right now, the Gladiators defensive back struggling with the very athletic combo of Rod Windsor and Kerry Reed in particular. Yeah, that was intended for Kerry Reed. Had no chance to get to it. Again, I, I don't think it's the worst decision in, in the world by Dominic Jones. You're already at the three yard line. Instead of giving him, you know, an easy six points, make him take another snap. Rattlers looking to take a seven point lead, eight if they make the extra point. Hopefully they'll miss it, I could jinx them maybe. <laughs> Davila under center from the one, takes the snap, looking to throw again, has time, fires right side. It's a touchdown, but there is a flag. Marquis White with the touchdown. I think you might get offensive pass interference on this. He was a, wide for open. A, for a push off. Pass interference, one offense, blocking downfield. It's a 10 yard penalty, replay first down. That is former Cleveland Brown Rod Windsor with the offensive pass interference. So again, you talk about the, the pass interference call on Dominic Jones. You say, well, you know, why are you, you going to do that? Don't give up a touchdown. And all of a sudden now, an, an offensive pass interference call, look where they're at, Bull. They're out, outside their own 10-yard line now. So that illegal contact call on Dominic Jones, smart call. It was. And it looked like it was going to be an easy touchdown, yeah. as you say, at the two-yard line. Instead, now it's first and and a goal at the 12-yard line. So now things become a little tougher for Nick Davila. Man in motion is Marquis White. Davila throws to the end zone. It is incomplete. Wow, Rod Windsor blew it, Dustin. He was wide open. That should have been six. Yeah, hit him in a bad spot. Or, or I don't even know if it hit him. It went right through his hands. Rod uh, Windsor runs a cool corner route as the inside receiver. And the ball was thrown perfectly by, by Davila. He's got to come up with that. That should be an easy touchdown. So we remain 14, 13, 12, 18 to go and counting. Second quarter, it's a second and goal at the 12 for the Rattlers. We'll see if the, the Gladiators can put up the defense and stop them here, something they haven't been able to do so far this evening. Davila with Reed in motion, has time, steps up in the pocket, fires for the end zone, incomplete. Great coverage on the play by Terran Sanders. Great job covering Rod Windsor there, Dustin. Well, I'll tell you, that back judge, he was reaching. He was yeah. going to pull that flag out because he was a little bit concerned. Was there too much contact there in the back of the end zone? Keeps the flag in his pocket. Thank Let good. him play, Thank, Dustin. Thank Let him play. Let him play. And a nice pass break up there by Sanders. Rattlers are two for two on third down tonight. But they're looking at a long one here, third and goal from the 12-yard line. The man deep is Kerry Reed to the right side, Windsor and White. Reed in motion. Davila has the snap, rolls to the left. Now he's out of the pocket, fires for the end zone, touchdown. Rod Windsor, but we do have a flag on the play. You think it's coming back? It's coming back. It's definitely a hold. I think it might get Benson for holding here inside, but it's definitely coming back. This will be a huge call. 56 defense. That penalty is Oh, declined. my goodness. That sounds good. And they missed it because there was a definite hold there in the backfield. He, 
Cheat was basically tackled. I don't know how they missed that call. Instead, the uh, the call is a defensive penalty on Willie McGinnis. I'm, sh so I'm shocked. I'm shocked right now, Bull. I mean, a, a, a blatant hold. Look at that. He tackled him. He tackled him. Uh, and uh, yeah, he got tackled. It was, right. ben it was Benson. It was Benson with the hold big time, and I think he tackled McGinnis. Yeah, it wasn't like we're not just exaggerating. He literally tackled him to <laughs> yes, the ground. It should did. have been an offensive a hold. There's the snap of the extra point. The kick is up, and it is good. 10.51 to go, second quarter for the Quicken Loans Arena. 21-13, Rattlers have the lead. We'll take a break. This is Cleveland Gladiators football, presented by Unique Home Solutions on My43 WUAB and 92.3 The Fan. And welcome back to the Quicken Loans Arena. I'm Adam the Bull. He's Dustin Fox with the Bull and Fox from 92.3 The Fan. We're having a great time tonight. It'll be even better when the Gladiators come back and win this game. Rattlers take a 21-13 lead on what's officially 11-yard touchdown to Rod Windsor. The Gladiators would like to thank University Hospital's Elyria Medical Center, the Center for Orthopedics, Network Radiology, NEO Spine and Sport, Novacare, the Vision Development Team, Team Physician Dr. Scott Singer, Team Dentist Dr. Todd Russell for being the official medical team of the Cleveland Gladiators. Dustin, a lot of penalties on that last drive. I think the refs blew it. I think they did. You take a look at the drive there, eight plays, 45 yards. And it was, it, you're right, it was riddled with penalties, some on the Gladiators, some on Arizona. It was like a back and forth once they got inside the red zone. And I, I, I agree with you. I, I think they missed a call there. It should, the Gladiators should have been off the field. The return will be Terrence Saunders. He's to the five, going right side, 10, breaks a tackle, but is brought down at the 12-yard line. How about Let's send it down to the field right now. Here's our man, Kenny Rhoda. Kenny? All right, guys, I just talked with Ron James, the defensive coordinator, and asked him what the explanation was on that penalty call, what the officials told him. And the official told him that McGinnis tackled the offensive lineman. I don't know about you. I looked up at the Jumbotron. I saw it live, and I saw it again on replay. I saw it the other way around. The offensive lineman tackled McGinnis. So that was the explanation, fellas. Kenny, you're 100% right. That's what we were talking about, too. It was a ridiculous call. They got the wrong guy making the tackle was the offense tackling they're just not used to it <laughs> all right gladiators with the ball first and ten at the 11 Shane Austin time fires up the middle complete to Amari Jackson down to the 20 or the 19 yard line of the Arizona Rattlers a gain of 20 on the play Amari Jackson gets in the receiving column does it for the first time yeah Amari Jackson's become that go-to receiver outside of Dominic Goodman this year. Remember, Theron Lewis, no longer a gladiator. He has stepped in and filled some big shoes and done a nice job right there. Beautiful pitch and catch from Shane Austin to Amari Jackson. And I'll tell you, right, he looked up. He was, football is right there. Good concentration, hauls it in, big first down. Gladiators down eight with the ball first and ten. Some movement on the line. I think, I think the Rattlers were offsides. I didn't see the gladiators move. Doesn't mean it didn't happen, though. We know these refs have gotten it wrong before. Offside, defense, 77, five-yard penalty, 
First down. Your boy, Antaj Hawthorne there, Dustin. Well, Hawthorne's been a force all game long getting in the backfield. I think right there he gets a little overzealous trying to get in there before the snap. So five extra yards for the Gladiators. Look, 21-13 so far. Penalties, six on the Rattlers for 45 yards. Four penalties on the Gladiators for 20 yards. Seems like there's been a yellow flag on every play. Shane Austin with the snap, looking up the middle. Fires into the end zone, some miscommunication there. And once again, a flag. Yeah, they're going to get either defensive holding or pass interference on number 11, Arkeep Brown, the secondary of Arizona. Seemed like there was some miscommunication again, though, because uh, Colin Taylor was headed to the right, and that ball was thrown kind of in the middle of the end zone, Dustin. Yeah, what's interesting is that there's a flag down in the backfield here, too. Yeah, we might have two penalties on the play. We'll wait till the officials. They're all huddled up again. They've been huddled quite a bit. <laughs> a lot of calls tonight. Plenty of laundry on the field. Here we go. Hold it. 11 defense. That penalty is declined. Personal foul. Roughing the pass of 94. Tip half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. So our Keith. Our Keith Brown was uh, was holding Dustin. You called that. You saw that. Yeah, he gets Amari Jackson right there in the back end. And, of course, the roughing the passer, a bigger penalty, so they'll accept that one. Uh, Tyree Glasper is the one who's called for the personal foul. So great field position for the Gladiators. Down eight with just over nine minutes to go in the first half. Shane Austin leads them first and goal at the eight-yard line. Notion man to the left side. Austin drops back, rolling right. Has time, fires left side, but has to throw it into the crowd, Dustin. Uh, Dominic Goodman was the receiver there, but he was not open. And I think he smartly throws that into the, the crowd because there was a lot of pressure there immediately. And I, you know, he's trying to get Dominic Goodman out there in the flat. He just wasn't open. Pretty good coverage by Arizona. And he says, hey, look, we'll just go back and take another stab, stab at it here on second down. Second and goal coming up for the Gladiators. Austin gets the call from the bench, now back into the huddle. Breaks him up, Dominic Goodman to the left. Colin Taylor behind him and to the right side, of course. Dropping back to pass, Austin has a man in the end zone, but he overthrows Colin Taylor. It was pretty good coverage uh, in the end zone by Jeremy Kellum. And Kellum's all over Colin Taylor on that corner out again. But not a lot of time to throw for Shane Austin. The pressure's coming. All right, so we're looking at a third down and goal at the eight. Dustin, if they don't make it on third down, they going for the end zone on fourth? Hard to say. You know, I know he's got confidence in Trevino, and I've seen Coach Tun over the years, you know, make decisions down here to take the points, especially early in the game. But again, you're down eight. So do you want to take three here? It's possible. Shane Austin makes the call, drops back to pass, looking right now in the middle of the field, overthrows. Dominic Goodman and Dustin, he just overthrew him by a couple of inches off the fingertips of the Gladiators wide receiver. And there is the decision to make here. Coach Tun looking and talking to Shane Austin. Trevino nowhere to be found, so I'd imagine that Bull that they will end up going for this. Yeah, Dominic Goodman was open, Dustin. We yeah. saw the replay a moment ago. He just missed him. He was open. He just overthrew him. First fourth down play of the game for either team. And it's a big one with the Gladiators already down eight. Just about seven minutes to go in the first half. Two receivers to the left, Goodman and Taylor. Jackson in the backfield, now runs up to the left side as well. Austin, drop it back, has time, looking for the man in the end zone, it's incomplete. Intended for Amari Jackson. And the Gladiators will give the ball over on downs to the Arizona Rattlers. Don't love the call down here, Bull. You're basically running a single man route, which what I mean by that is you're rolling Austin a little bit to his right, and he's got Amari Jackson coming across. And he had good coverage by Arkeep Brown, who makes the play. We're going to take a break. 21-13, Rattlers lead. They have the ball, 6.53 to go. Can the Gladiators get the D going? We'll find out next. This is Gladiators football, presented by Unique Home Solutions. On my 43, the UAB, and 92.3, the fans.
21-13 Rattlers. We play the second quarter. Hey, follow the Gladiators on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay connected to your favorite team. Interact with the team like never before while you view and share the coolest team pictures and videos. Gladiators football is presented by Unique Home Solutions. Back live at the queue, I'm Adam the Bull along with Dustin Fox. And uh, the Rattlers have the ball first and ten at their own eight-yard line, already up eight. Davila has time, fires to the right side, complete the Windsor. Breaks a tackle, has a first down at the 20-yard line. we got to find out what happened on the last Gladiators drive. Let's send it down to Kenny Rhoda. Guys, on that third down play, Goodman was wide open, but the game clock... I actually, the play clock was coming down to one second. It was a quick snap. They were a little frazzled, and I think that flustered Shane Austin a little bit, and he threw behind Goody. It should have been a touchdown, then they turn it over on downs. Thanks, Kenny. Nick Davila drops back to pass all kinds of time again. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Rattlers, Dustin. Too easy. Davila all kinds of time, and Kerry Reed wide open, streaking into the end zone. Yeah, I think that's a bust in the back end. I mean, he was wide open from the jump and that's it's an easy throw easy pitch and catch for Davila and it, it is clear Dustin that yeah. this is a different offense for the Rattlers when they have Windsor and Reed back in the fold they're both playing great oh they're playing fantastic and, and I do think that you know this team last year in the in the back end of secondary they had Mario Norman okay Norman late in the year right before the arena bowl gets picked up by the uh uh, Baltimore Ravens, and he's not back this year. And I think that's a big loss. It's hurting him right now. All right, extra point attempt for the Rattlers. The kicker, Jeremy Shelley, has it up. It is good. Ooh, some pushing and shoving on the field. We'll straighten it out later, but the score now, 28-13 Rattlers, 5.32 to go second quarter. We'll take a break. This is Cleveland Gladiators football, presented by Unique Home Solutions on My 43 WUAB and 92.3 The Fan. Back live at the Quicken Loans Arena, Adam the Bull, Dustin Fox. Rattlers leading the Gladiators 28-13 in the home opener. Dustin, the score not great right now, but the crowd is phenomenal. Big crowd here for the opener. Oh, it always is, and we knew it was going to be a big one today. And uh, they are into it. We'd like to get some more points on the board to get them a little bit more into it, get the cheers going, get the yes chants going. And I think they can do it. Yeah, Fans they... are pumped. The crowd is with them. Let's get it going. Sanders a chance to return this one for the middle of the end zone. He's to the five, right side to the eight. Breaks a tackle and then is brought down to the ten. His fifth kick return for about 80 yards for Terrence Sanders off the Jeremy Shelley kick. What great support the Gladiators get from this fan base, Dustin. And there oh. are plenty of tickets for the rest of the season. There's no question. Get down here. Enjoy it. It is a very a family friendly atmosphere my wife loves bringing the kids all the time uh, the kids enjoy it I mean there's always action the fan, you know the the in arena hosts do a great job lots of giveaways you do they uh, do a great job here Dustin for tickets yeah. uh, folks can call 216-420-2222 or visit or visit Cleveland Gladiators Com. Shane Austin under center, huge drive for the Gladiators here. Has a man, Dominic Goodman, breaks a tackle and is able to gain about four yards on the play. Dustin, this drive, huge for the Gladiators. Down 15, they can't afford not to score. It's critical. We talk about 
in the arena game, a turnover could be critical in terms of wins and losses. The Gladiators have two. They have a turnover on downs, and they also had an interception on their first drive. They absolutely have to get some points here. Remember, I know there's four and a half minutes here to go until halftime, but Arizona's going to get the football That's back right. to start the second half. They could go up three possessions. Shane Austin, uh, 7 of 14, 87 yards. One touchdown, one pick so far. Slow start for Shane. Takes the snap, drops back about five yards, fires it deep across the field. It is incomplete, intended for Amari Jackson. Another opportunity missed there, Dustin. Jackson one-handed it. He was wide open. He had a chance to make a play. Yeah, to me, that's that's a throw that's in a catch that's got to be caught. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Jackson goes up and tries to make it look like a, a sports center top ten play. You just got to go up with two hands and catch the football. Now, I'm not sure if he thought he was going to get hit or what, but but that's a catchable football and should have been caught. Yeah, Marquise Floyd on the coverage there, but really it was all about Amari Jackson. Looked like it was going to be a long completion, maybe even a touchdown. Yeah. But unfortunately, we're now looking at a third down and six for the Gladiators at their own 14. Man in motion is Taylor. Shane Austin takes the snap, has time, steps up. And a miscommunication again, Dustin. The Colin Taylor cut back in. The throw went deep. Yeah, I think Austin expected Colin Taylor, who was coming on that deep post, to turn it upfield almost like a wheel late in the down. And Colin Taylor was thinking, oh, I'm just going to run a little drag to the sticks and pick up the first down. And the football was overthrown. Again, that's two miscommunications. The first time yeah. a miscommunication happened, cost him a turnover. And the Gladiators going for it, of course, on fourth down at their own 14. This play is huge. Fourth and six at their own 14, already down 15 with three minutes to go in the first half. Austin takes the snap, has time, steps up, fires, and it is caught. What a catch by Amari Jackson makes up for the drop earlier, and that's huge to keep this drive alive. It is big, Bull. They, they had to get something going here, and I think that could maybe spark this crowd to get them back into it. They can put this into, turn this drive into points. I got to give a lot of credit, though, to Arizona secondary. They have, over the last couple of possessions, for whatever reason, been able to clamp down on our wide receivers. It's been so tough to create any type of separation. Right there, Amari Jackson does just enough. He's able to pick up that first down. Gain of 16, first and 10 at the Rattlers 20. Shane Austin drops back, has time, looking, looking. In the end zone, oh, it is intercepted. And again, it looks like some miscommunication there. Dustin Dominic Goodman was in the end zone, but the throw was short of the goal line. I don't know whose fault that is, but a bad... A bad play leads to another Gladiators turnover. Well, nonetheless, the interception's going to get chalked up to Shane Austin. That one was picked off by yeah. Jeremy Kellum, who we've mentioned his name a bunch of times hard, today. Well, it's hard to tell. You know, we obviously get a chance to look at the replays here, and it was a corner route. And I think that, it, uh, frankly, I think it might have been on Dominic Jones. I think he ran the route a little bit too deep, and I think Shane Austin thought he was going to cut up underneath Kellum. Fortunately, he does not. It's intercepted. Davila, first play of this drive as a completed pass over to Marquis White. And the Gladiators and their secondary really have struggled all evening long. They've completed you know, most of the passes they've thrown. Davila, Dustin, 13 of 16, including that latest completion. Been pretty efficient. 28-13 Rattlers, a minute 35 and counting here in the first half. Gladiators already down 15. Somebody's got to make a play. Maybe Joe Finnessy can step up and make a huge play again. Davila hands the ball off. Up the middle, the run is good for a first down for Michael Benson. Now this is just strategy here, Bull. They, they want to score, and they don't want to give the football back to Cleveland before halftime because they know, you know, this this is like in, in basketball, like a two, uh, uh, two for one, right? I mean, they want to make sure that they have the possession last, don't give Cleveland any time because they'll get it and start the second half. Dustin, we're going to take a quick break. A minute to go. First half, 28-13 Rattlers. This is Cleveland Gladiators football presented by Unique Home Solutions on My43, WUAB, and 92.3, the fan.
28-13, Rattlers over the Gladiators. One minute to go in the first half. Rattlers with the ball. Stick around after every Gladiators home game for the post-game field party presented by University Hospitals Elyria Medical Center. Get player autographs or kick field goals on the field thanks to Hudak Dental. For details, visit clevelandgladiators.com. Adam the Bull, Dustin Fox, Bull and Fox from 92-3 the fan. Dustin, minute to go in the first half. What can the Gladiators do here defensively to try to turn this game around? Well, I'd, I'd say get a stop, but yeah. that hasn't been very easy for Cleveland uh, this evening. They've got to do something here. I think it's going to be a turnover. You know, it's, it's going to be tough to get them off the field on downs. They're going to have to find some sort of way to get some pressure in Davila's face, and hopefully that can create a tip ball, you know, a fumble or something. Again, I mentioned before the break there, I think Arizona's you know, pretty intent here on trying to make this the last possession of the first half. Four touchdowns for Arizona, four possessions. Rod Windsor, Kerry Reed have two touchdowns apiece. Neither of those guys had played the first two games of the year. Davila from his own 16-yard line takes the snap, fires near side for Windsor. He makes the catch, and he is brought down and had, uh, had Stevens not held on to that, uh, that tackle. He would have been gone for a touchdown, game-saving tackle. Great point. I mean, sometimes these guys, especially out in space, it's difficult to get a wide receiver on the ground. That's a pretty good open field tackle and a good point by you. That could have been, it could have been six points. Definitely. Five catches, I'm sorry, six catches, 82 yards, and two touchdowns. Welcome back to the season, Rod Windsor. You know, we spoke with Dominic Jones during the week on our show, Dustin, and he speculated that maybe... The, Gla the Rattlers didn't play Windsor and Reed on purpose last week. to not show anything. Well, they're showing plenty this week. Those two guys have been great. Windsor's been unbelievable. How about this? last year? Windsor had 44 touchdowns. Wow. Davila drops back to pass. Under pressure. Gets rid of it. It is caught for another first down. Catch made again by that man, Rod Windsor, at the 16-yard line of the Gladiators. Clock running, 35 seconds to go. Plenty of time for Arizona to run their offense as slow or fast as they want in 27 seconds here as we tick down the seconds in the first half. Got to stop him. Davila coming near side. It's complete just inside the 10 to Marquis White. And a timeout is called with 17.1 ticks left. Rattlers up 15. This would be huge if the Gladiators could get a stop. They're looking at a second down and about two or three yards right now. 28-13, Rattlers on top. Dustin, this offense has been unstoppable tonight. They're looking to put up 35 in the first half. How about a Joe Finnessy pick six here to end the first half? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, Joe, the first two weeks, has had a pick six and a fumble for a touchdown. Yep. He's he's had three fumble recoveries and two picks. Five turnovers total for him, five of the six for the Gladiators. They need Joe to make a play here or somebody to make a play to get this momentum turned around. Second and two, Davila under center. Man in motion is Reed to the right side. All receivers there. Davila into the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Rod Windsor. He lost it. He's had a big game, but he has had two drops there. That would have been a touchdown if he held on. Now, now big third down coming up here. Although it really doesn't matter. They're going to go for it. We know that. And they only need two yards to pick up the first down. And with 13 seconds to go, I mean, well, they're in, in arena, that could be five plays. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? The last minute of the half especially takes a long yeah. time as opposed to the rest of the game. Third down and two. Don't ball at the eight-yard line. Sorry, but don't be surprised if they run the football here and pick up the first down, hit a quick timeout, and give them a fresh set of downs. Rattlers three of three on first down. Bet uh, the pitch over there to Reed on the right side is good enough. Uh, I don't know. I think he's short of the first down. It's close. Let's we'll see where the spot is. They may measure this. Yeah. Oh, they're going to give him the first down. Oh, yeah, he got it. He had to get to the six, and he got right to the six. First down, Rattlers, first and goal at the Gladiators' six. 7.7 seconds to go in the game. Probably two, maybe three plays. Arizona still has two timeouts remaining. So this is all on the Gladys' defense. they got to bow up here. They've got to get a stop. Arizona's going to get the football to start this second half. I hate to hate to call it, you know, a a a play here that could change the ball game, but 
this early in the game, but it, it certainly is a huge play. Gladiators got to make a stop. They have not stopped the Rattlers yet. Head coach Kevin, Kevin Guy met with Nick Davila during that stoppage of play. Davila in the huddle. Now he sends him out. Rod Windsor goes behind the line. He'll be the man in motion. Marquee White to the left. Kerry Reed, Kerry Reed tight on the left. Now in motion goes Windsor. Davila takes the snap. Looking for the end zone. Fires near side. Intercepted. Return to the 5. The 10. Terrence Sanders to the 20. The 15. The 10. The 5. Touchdown. Gladiators. There is a flag on the play at the end of the play. We'll see who it's on, Dustin. We needed a big play, and Terrence Sanders provided it. He went goal line to goal line. Touchdown, but here's the call. In the back, the quarterback slipped and fell. Touchdown's good. The penalty is waved off. They were going to call a block in the back, but Davila fell down, Dustin. We said the Gladiators needed a play, and as time expires in the first half, they got it. Terrence Sanders picks off Davila on the goal line and goes the distance for a touchdown. Well, that's what happens when you wait late in the down and you throw it late. Sanders comes from behind, is able to pick it off, and he's going to get a caravan of teammates down the near sideline, and he picks up a huge block at the end of the play. I believe it was Phillips, excuse me, Jeremy Richardson, who had a huge block on Davila, who had the only opportunity to get the tackle made and they are going to take a challenge here and take a look at the replay but I don't know what they're looking at yeah but if you're Arizona why not challenge and why not what are we challenging chance? yeah I don't know <laughs> I'm not sure you know I, don't, I again everything to me looks clean on that play unless you know I don't think they're going to go back and look and say hey did he give himself up when he went out of bounds because he could have but I, I think he was in I don't know we're gonna, you know Nick Davila had all kinds of time there a great interception. What a play by Terrence St Sanders. He had a man open. Kerry Reed was open, Dustin. Sanders stepped in front of him. He bumps into the wall there. I don't know. Do you see anything that would say he was out of bounds? Or I, I don't know. You, we're looking at the replay here. But I don't see anything, Dustin, when we looked at the replay. We'll have to... All right, let's send it down to the field. Kenny Rota, what do you got? Guys, I just talked with head coach Steve Tun. They're challenging that when the interception was made, contact was made into the wall, and the ball should be dead there. And Steve Tun just told me, said, they might win this one. And in listening to some of the players over on the sidelines, they were saying, hurry up and kick that extra point. So uh, we'll see what the officials call here, but it might be coming back. Uh, what a bummer that would be. Thanks, Kenny. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Mean, did he go out of bounds? Right. Because there was some contact. It was close. It's yeah. hard to... It's hard to say. So if, if, Coach, if Coach Tun's saying that, I, it doesn't make me feel good. Yeah, it's not It's not a good sign, and that is a killer. Now, oh. hey, you know still what? Got it's, the pick. It's, still, it's still a turnover, Bull. It's still a turnover, but you could have cut the lead down to eight, got it back down to eight. Uh, if that's out of bounds there, you wonder. I'd go for two if they if get <laughs> right here in this right. situation. Why not? If, if they're ruling it out of bounds, I would assume there'll be time put back on the clock. And maybe the Gladiators would have a play at least to heave it down to the other end zone and maybe score a touchdown. The clock is at zero. Yeah, but but Dustin, no, I got to believe they're yeah. saying out of bounds. It's going to be at least uh, two, three seconds. All right, let's send it down to the field. We're going to get the word for the ref. Hopefully the call will stick, but we're not feeling that optimistic about it. After here's the further call. review of the play, the touchdown stands. Yes! It goes the Gladiators' way. Dustin, what do you make of that touchdown standing there? Um, Are you surprised? I, I, I am a little surprised. I think what, they're, what they were seeing there was a, not a lot of contact. You know, he, he kind of got his foot as he, do, as he dove, the receiver dove to you know, try and get Sanders out of bounds, but not enough, obviously. And, and thank goodness for us, we needed it big time. This could be the play of the game. There's no doubt. Gladiators going for the extra point. Trevino to try to cut it to an eight-point lead. The kick is up. And it is. Good. So the Gladiators, who looked like they were going to be down 35-13 at the half, instead are only down 28-20. 14-point swing, and that is huge. Unbelievable. The Gladiators are right back in the game. Let's send it down to the field. Kenny Rhoda. 
Terrence Playmaker Sanders joining me with the pick six to end the half. You were a little worried, though, on that replay, weren't you? You thought it might get overturned. Yeah, I kind of felt him from behind touch me. I was like, oh, he didn't force me in there, but I know he touched me and I hit the wall. So, unfortunately, the ref saw it the right way. How big of a play is that for you guys? Down to them at that point, and you get a pick six on the very last play of the first half. Yeah, that was a big momentum swing. That could have really kind of did us in at halftime. So, for us to get that momentum, now we got something to build on in the second half, and let's come back out and uh, try to chip, it, chip into this lead a little bit. Is that something you saw on film study in the formation there and jumping that route? Uh, I'm going to give credit to Dominique Jones on that. He told me how to play that, that uh, particular play. And it worked out just like he did it. So he did a lot of film study, and I credit him for getting me in the right position. Great job. Good luck the second half. All right. Thanks a lot. How about that big play, guys? Huh? That was huge. An unbelievable play there to end the first half, and the Gladiators back in this one. Only down 28 to 20. Plenty of time left in this one, so stick around for more of this Gladiators-Rattlers game. And we'll have more during the halftime show. Stay with us here as we continue with the Gladiators and Rattlers. And this Cleveland Gladiators football game is presented by Unique Home Solutions on My43 WUAB and the 92.3 The Fan. Back live at the Quicken Loans Arena, I'm Adam the Bull, he's Dustin Fox, and we're having a ball, especially now. Gladiators late touchdown to end the first half, 28-20 at halftime. Hey kids, join the coolest club in town, the Gladiators Kids Club. I love the Gladiators Kids Club, if I could spit that out. I'm taking my <laughs> kid there too when he's old enough. For only 15 bucks, you get a drawstring bag, t-shirt, tickets to the game, and much more. For tickets, call 216-420-2222. Or visit clevelandgladiators.com. Gladiators football is presented by Unique Home Solutions. Again, it's the Bull and Fox, my friends. Here we are at the Quicken Loans Arena. We are excited. Hello to everybody. You're, where you're listening, you're watching on TV, whatever you're doing. It's been a lot of fun, especially late in the first half, Dustin. What a great play that maybe saved this game for the Gladiators. Oh, there's no question that that interception there by Sanders to end that first half brought gla the, the Gladiators back into the ball game. And we were a little concerned, hey, this thing could get out of hand 35-13 if uh, Arizona scores there on that last possession. But it's a whole new ball game, a whole new second half. They get an opportunity here, maybe get a stop. Arizona will get the football to start this second half. Get a stop, you know, crazier things can happen. That's right. This game is not over yet, and that turnover – was the hugest yeah. play of this game, 28-20 instead of potentially 35-13. Let's take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard, some finals from the last couple of days. Portland beat Spokane 47-43. San Jose over Tampa Bay 36-27.
Only one game in progress now. The New Orleans Voodoo, who the Gladiators beat last week, uh, 7-0 over Orlando. Later tonight, Las Vegas, who beat uh, Arizona last week, will play at L.A. That's a 10 p.m. start Eastern. And Jacksonville and Philadelphia will play on Sunday. So that's the out-of-town scoreboard. We are in town in beautiful Cleveland, Ohio, and this city is pumped. The Browns, the Cavs, and now the Gladiators. The Indians, I don't forget the Indians, but the Gladiators right now. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I couldn't be more excited. I can't even control myself well, right now. I, I'm glad to be working with you, buddy. Yeah, it's it's, it's a lot of fun. We, we work together every day, you know, two to seven on the fan, but uh, it's good to be up here in the booth with you calling the game, and it's been a fun one, and hopefully the Glads can pick it up here in the second half. Let's take a look at the standings here. Cleveland, of course, on top with a perfect, unblemished record. Yeah, they are 2-0, and as you mentioned, Dustin. Philadelphia, the Soul, also 2-0. and Gladiators will play them soon. New Orleans, who the Gladiators beat last week, they are 1-1 one and one in the American Conference East. Arizona's in the National Conference West. They are tied with Vegas. They're both 1-1. One and one. Vegas plays L.A. tonight, as we mentioned. L.A. is 0-2. All right, we're going to take a break. Dustin, so much more to do coming up. Highlights of the first half. A lot to talk about. 28-20 Rattlers. Second half starting in about 10 minutes or so. This is Cleveland Gladiators football, presented by Unique Home Solutions on My43 WUAB and 92.3 The Fan. Back at the Quicken Loans Arena where the Cleveland Gladiators have rallied back to cut the deficit against the Arizona Rattlers 28-20. About six minutes to go before the start of the second half. Hey, get Gladiators score updates, special promotions, and breaking news sent directly to your phone. Text Gladiators to 720-720. Text message and data rates may apply. Gladiators football is presented by Unique Home Solutions. Dustin, let's take a look at the uh, highlights of the first game. Game did not get off to a great start for Shane Austin to pick here. No, it didn't get, uh, get off to a good start. A little bit on a different page with his wide receivers. And then there's there all Arizona there early in the first half. He's able to get the football in the end zone. He was going to carry uh, Wood. and But the Glads come back. A little running uh, of the football. Jeremy Richardson yeah. hasn't been a huge factor so far this year. 
but Dustin Davila all night until right before the end of the half was sensational. A lot of help from Rod Windsor and Kerry Reed. Yeah, both of those receivers didn't play last week. They're back in the action, uh, but the Gladiators would continue to fight. Dominic Goodman again gets in the end zone. He got the end zone, what, five, six, seven times last week. He gets in the end zone there in the first half as well. Yeah, his eighth touchdown of the year. It was back and forth for a while. Unfortunately, the Gladiators got stopped a couple of times, and they took full advantage, did the Rattlers. Kerry Reed with a long touchdown. Uh, and that offense really until the end of the first half just couldn't be stopped. Yeah, it looked like you know, Cleveland was really going to struggle. You see, or as, as you know, we saw interception, turnover on downs, interception. It was a struggle. But then, right before halftime, the Gladiators defense, which has been struggling all day, comes up with the play of the game. Terrence Sanders takes it 50 yards to the hizzy. That's right. He went the distance from goal line into the end zone. Time for the Medical Mutual halftime stats here, Dustin. Rushing yards 17-2 to in favor of Arizona. In the air, 196 passing yards for the Rattlers. 103 for the Gladiators. Total yards 213-105. Rattlers have the lead at first down, 16-10. to Seven penalties on Arizona, just four on Cleveland. Time of possession is basically even. The leading receiver, Rod Windsor, seven catches, 94 yards, two touchdowns. Dustin, what stands out to you in the first half? Well, what stands out was something that you didn't see. Three turnovers, two interceptions, one turnover on downs. Glad's got to clean it up in the second half. All right, we are minutes away from the start of half number two. Rattlers lead the Gladiators 28-20. When we start. All right, back live at the Quicken Loans Arena, Adam the Bull, Dustin Fox. Less than a minute to go before we start the second half. Let's send it down to the field. Our own Kenny Rhoda is with the head coach of the Gladiators. 
I just talked with head coach Steve Tan. I said, what'd you say to the guys in the locker room, coach? He said, look, we're only down eight. As bad as we played in that first half, the turnovers, the turnover on down, the missed extra point, we're only down eight points. He said, in the second half, though, we've got to come out, we've got to execute, we've got to be efficient, and we have to score on every possession. Thanks, Kenny. Dustin, uh, he talked about that. It's, he's right. they got to yeah. score every possession, no doubt about it. But you talk about maybe the team can get some momentum of what happened at the end of the first half. This first defensive opportunity for the Gladiators is huge. Well, first and foremost, I think for the first time today, the, cl the crowd here is alive okay, right. to start the second half, so they're going to have to feed off of that. But defensively, that stand, that pick six, hopefully that leads to some sort of momentum. Again, of course you have to score an offense every possession. That's always the goal. But the, the bigger goal, I think, for the Gladiators' defense is to get off the field at some point. It would be huge if they could do it on this first drive. Shane Austin, the first half, 8 of 18, two touchdown, uh, one touchdown, excuse me, two interceptions, 103 yards. Nick Davila, 15 of 20, 196 yards, four touchdowns, but one big pick at the end of the half. And we'll see if that leads to the turnaround in this game. 28-20. Arizona on top, rematch of last year's championship game, and we're ready to start the second half. Uh, the kickoff coming from Alex Trevino. Back deep, our Keith Brown. Trevino's been good on these kickoffs. And once again, Dustin, he splits the nets. Unreal. He's done a great job kicking off. Yeah, taking away the opportunity for a return by kicking it out of the end zone. And, again, the fans continue to... Get free football. Right. Last week, the uh, ra the Rattlers took big advantage of kickoffs. It was A.J. Cruz, who's no longer with them. He returned two kicks for touchdowns, although one was called back and had another all the way to the 13, but they have not been able to do anything in the kick return game so far tonight. All right, again, we gave you the numbers on Davila. Big numbers. Their receivers, Rod Windsor, seven catches, 94 yards, two touchdowns. Kerry Reed, four for 59 and two touchdowns. Davila, first snap of the half, has a man complete. That one's to Marquis White, and it is good for a gain of about eight yards on the play. And keep an eye on something here as we go, Bull. Something happened right at the end of that play. Normal pitch and catch, eight-yard pickup, but as Dominic Jones got him on the ground, you guess what he did? He got the ball out, and the ball came out. Did, not a fumble, but yeah. it's something to keep an eye on as, as the, the no-fly zone, the secondary, the linebackers here try and strip the football to create turnovers. Aggression level getting picked up. Davila has time. Fires left side complete to Windsor. He breaks a tackle, but then is stopped by Dominic Jones. Windsor broke that first tackle. Thought he was going to be able to run for a while, but our man Dominic Jones said, no way, buddy. Now, DJ is running around there with reckless abandon. Always does in the back end. And right there, he's just he's flying around trying to make something happen. I'm telling you, you keep an eye on it. He keeps trying to strip this football out. All of a sudden, you'll see one on the turf, and maybe our man Joe Finnessy could get one to the house. First and 10 Rattlers at their own 19 yard line. Davila takes the snap, looking to throw all kinds of time yet again. Fires up the middle, complete. Windsor to the 10 and is brought down at the nine yard line, but there is a flag on the play. Hopefully it'll be against the Rattlers. It's gonna be a pass interference on Cleveland. It's yeah. gonna get declined, of course, because of the- Holding deep one. That penalty is declined, result of the play, first down. Dustin Rod Windsor's been unstoppable in this game so far. I mean, the Browns want to bring him back. Yeah. <laughs> He's been great. Darn it, Browns. You should have kept him. He wouldn't be killing us tonight. What are you doing? 22 yards on the play. I mean, you signed Dwayne. Is he any better than Dwayne Bow? I think he might be. No. He looks, like, looks like Josh Gordon out here. Yeah. No, we won't see him for a while. No, we won't. Uh, first and goal at the nine for the Rattlers, looking at threatening to score again. Davila under center. Plenty of time again. Fires complete. Into the end zone, touchdown Windsor. But Dustin, you think it's coming back? Yeah, I think Windsor pushed off here. I think Windsor pushed off on, uh, I believe, Dominic Jones. And it should come back. Pass in the one offense. 10-yard penalty, we play first down. You're 100% right. Big play. Instead of Windsor's third touchdown of the day, it's offensive pa pass interference. And instead of a touchdown, the Rattlers will be backed up to, their, uh, to the Gladiators' 19-yard line. That's a big penalty. My goodness. You know, they were sitting there inside the red zone, inside the 10-yard line. And he's he just going to get his paw. He was uh, wide open. It was almost illegal hands to the face, too. He, he was working on, yeah, working on Brandon Stevens. 
Davila has the snap. No pressure again for the Gladiators. Throwing for the end zone. It is incomplete. He overthrew Kerry Reed. Reed came free at the last second, Dustin. But Davila just overthrew him at second and long. Look, it, it is so difficult to play defensive back in the arena game because everything is happening so fast, and you have receivers already almost at, at top speed when they get to you. That's why there's a lot of contact, a lot of penalties we've called throughout this, this ball game. But it's not just this game. It's all the time. It's difficult to play secondary. A lot of credit to the Gladiators here for mowing up against two of the most talented receivers in the game. Second and goal at the 19. Man in motion is White. Uh, Davila looking near side complete to Windsor. For a short gain, it's a third and about 12, uh, third and goal from about the 12 or 13 yard line. Now here's what, what, what could be a little bit interesting, Bull. It's a one possession game right now. If they pick up a few more yards, or they could even kick it from here if, if they don't score a touchdown, does Arizona decide to go field goal here at fourth down? They're a very aggressive team. They are. They've moved the ball pretty easily, which probably depends how far they get down the field on this play. So third down and goal. Gladiators looking for a big stop. Rattlers have it at their own 12. Davila has time. Now under pressure. Five yeah. minutes. He's intercepted. Dominic Jones has it in his own 10. 15, 20, 25, 20, 15. He will go all the way. Touchdown, Gladiators. But there is a flag on the play. Flag and it may it, come it, back. It, it, it's in the air. After the pick, though, Dustin, the Gladiators will have the ball either way. Oh, Dominic Jones, unbelievable. We're going to have to wait for the call. Foul, roughing the passer, 56 defense. Half the distance to go, automatic first down. Well, so much for at least the interception will count. Just a killer, Dustin. Willie McGinnis with a personal foul, which costs the Gladiators a touchdown. That is well, a it, devastating penalty. You had a 14-point swing to end the first half, and, and I, I fear that this could be another 14-point swing because not only does that penalty take away the touchdown, but it's going to give Arizona a first and goal at the six-yard line. And now they're back in business. Nick Davila will get a reprieve. First and goal at the six. Fires far side end zone touchdown. Rod Windsor, you just said it, Dustin. What a swing. Instead of a touchdown from again goal line to goal line for Dominic Jones, it ends up being Rod Windsor's third touchdown of the game. And instead of possibly being tied or within one, it's back to a 14, maybe a 15-point lead. And give a lot of credit to Arizona because they come right back. And look who they work on, Bull. Dominic Jones, yeah. who's winded. He just ran a 50-yard sprint for a touchdown. You know, he can barely break up on Windsor. He's trying to get, get his breath caught. He's tired. Very good awareness by Davila to go right at him. It's a great call by you. He did look tired in that play. The extra point is up. It is good, 35-20, Rattlers take the lead. This is Cleveland Gladiators football, presented by Unique Home Solutions on My43 WUAB and 92.3 The Fan.
Back live at the Quicken Loans Arena, Adam the Bull, Dustin Fox. 9.57 to go third quarter. Rattlers 35, Gladiators 20. Gladiators will get the ball in a few seconds. Hey, this is cool. Join the Monsters on Friday, April 17th. That's this coming Friday at 7.30 for Fan Salute Night. All fans will be automatically entered to win a jersey of a player off a player's back. Plus, it's a Sugardale and Pepsi Dollar Dog at Soda Night. For tickets, call 216-420-0000. Visit LakeErieMonsters.com or any Northern Ohio discount drug mart. Rattlers to kick off. Kick deep into the end zone. The return man makes the grab at the goal line to the 5. Cut back inside to the 10. Spun around, but he breaks free from a tackle. But then falling down on the play is Amari Jackson, who was returning that one, Dustin. Looked like he had a seam for a moment, but he spun out of a tackle and then got knocked out. It's amazing that Arizona only had that one possession, took about five and a half minutes almost to start the second half. And now, look, Cleveland's going to get a chance. they got to answer. They're going to have to take uh, take this football and go down and score some points. It's going to be bow for bow, punch for punch the second half. And at some point, you have to hope you get another turnover like you had that got called off the board. Shane Austin has time. Fires up the middle, complete. Oh, but drop Colin Taylor. It was Dustin. He had it. I said it was complete. He made me look like a liar. What happened, Colin Taylor? Oh, uh, you do that's have a hard break. You have a penalty. Ooh. Defense. Ten-yard penalty. First down. Cliff Dukes, the Arizona defensive lineman, helmet to helmet hit. That's big. Yeah, first down. It's going to be a ten-yard penalty. Not as good as the completion to Colin Taylor, but there he's. As we get a chance to see the roughing penalty on the in-house yeah. scoreboard here. I don't know if that was a good call, yeah. to be honest with you. It looked like he might have missed the helmet, but hey, we'll, hey, take, we'll it. take it. We'll right. take it. Glad you guys <laughs> get a break. Uh, first and 10 at their own 20. Austin goes quick to the near side. It's complete this time. Taylor holds on, and he picks up about 12 on the play into Rattler's territory at the 19-yard line. First down, Gladiators. Again, they got to get some sort of a rhythm going here on offense. I like the quick throws, trying to get to Colin Taylor, who's typically a sure-handed receiver. That last one he dropped, very uncharacteristic of him. But you got to somehow get these defensive backs to back up a little bit so you can create some space. The Gladiators going right to left on your radio dial here in the third quarter. Shane Austin under center, man in motion to the right side. Has time, fires near side, complete down to the five, and into the end zone, touchdown! Gladiators, Amari Jackson with the catch, the broken tackle, and he dances into the end zone for six. Well, that was a beautiful throw by Shane Austin as he drops back. Again, pretty good protection up front. He's able to throw it just over a defender's head and give a, a lot of credit to Amari Jackson at the end of that play, too. Puts a little juke on a Rattler defender and gets into the end zone. Gladiators back in business. They can't afford any empty positions. No and question. They didn't get it there. 35-26 now. And Trevino for the extra point to try to make it a one-possession game again. The kick is up. The kick is good. It's now 35-27 in favor of the Rattlers. 7.37 to go, third quarter. We'll take a break. This is Cleveland Gladiators football presented by Unique Home Solutions on my 43 WUAB and 92.3 The Fan.
Back at Quicken Loans Arena, Kenny Rota along with Amari Jackson, who just scored that last touchdown for the Cleveland Gladiators. Amari, what was the play call and how did it open up? I just had a wide drift backside. Uh, the corner fell off on the backside, and then uh, the Jack linebacker had me. Uh, man to man, so we just drifted behind the, the Jack box. Shane made a, a, a great throw. And the rest is just, you know, what they teach us, you know, want to, just want to. We just got to want to get in that end zone, man. Smell it, so. Just a team thing, man. Want to. You're only down eight right now, and I heard uh, Shane and Coach saying, keep it simple and execute. That's the goal the rest of the way, right? That's the goal. And, you know, Lord's willing, we get that done. Uh, our guys are playing some hell of football on defense right now, and all we can do is just root them on and uh, just ask them to keep getting stops, man. If they can get those stops, uh, we think that we can punch it in on this team. Right, thanks so much, guys. Back up to you. Thanks, Kenny. Uh, good stuff down of the field. Gladiators down 35-27. 7.27 to go in the third quarter, Dustin. Uh, Shane Austin now 10 of 20, 133 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. They were able to return the kick that time, the Rattlers, but only to the seven-yard line. Bad field position. Nick Dabble on the center, takes the snap. Fires it far side, complete. That's Kerry Reed, but not for much. Maybe a gain of a yard or two on the play. Yeah, Arizona trying to set up just a quick little screen out here to the far side flat, and it's sniffed out perfectly by Joe Finnessy and a couple other Gladiators defenders. Good stop on first down. He kind of faked like he was yeah. going to go to the right, and then instead he went quick screen, as you said, to the left. But not much on the play. Second down and eight. 6.40 to go, third quarter. Rattlers on top, 35 27. Nick Davila, the man in motion to the right side, takes the snap, has time. Now steps up in the pocket, fires near side, a wide open receiver who fortunately falls down. But Dustin, what happened there? Marquis White was wide open. Well, Gladiator's lucky that he fell down. Well, what happened was Dominic Jones playing that free safety position. You know, he's got the ability to roam a little bit. You know, Davila staring down. Rod Windsor, who's running an inside cutting route. I thought he was going to throw it. I thought it was going to be a pick by Dominic Jones. Instead, late in the down, Davila is able to see his wide receiver streaking down the sidelines for a, a, a big play, a big gainer there. 26 yards, Dustin. Yeah, 26 yards by Marquis White. And had he not fallen down, that was going to be a touchdown. Now first and 10 at, their, at the 16 of the Gladiators. Davila has time, fires far side, incomplete, and into the crowd. Pass intended for Marquis White. Bring your group of 10 or more to the queue to experience Gladiators football. Group tickets start at only 10 bucks and include exclusive perks. For details, call 216-420-2500 or visit clevelandgladiators.com. Gladiators football is presented by Unique Home Solutions. Dustin, listen, we've been talking about it all night. Gladiators have been behind the eight ball since the early pick. Looking for a big stop here again. Someone in the secondary has got to make an interception again. Davila fires across the middle. And I'll tell you, Dominic Jones did not see it coming. He was playing the man, Kerry Reed. If he had looked up, he might have had that pick, Dustin. Yeah, Davila throws that about 100 miles an hour yeah. trying to get Kerry Reed. You mentioned they're right over the middle. I, I, I think Dominic Jones was looking for the, the big hit as opposed to trying to pick that football off. He comes in. In fact, I, I'm guessing as an ex-defensive back, I bet he closed his eyes. And I bet he was looking for the big hit right there and just, yep. just missed it. Rattlers now three are three of three on third down, but they're looking at a third and ten at the Gladiators 16. Davila drops back, some pressure this time, steps up, fires incomplete. And for the first time tonight, some pressure put on. Looked like Anthony DeGrate was in the mix there. Also Willie McGinnis, Dustin. Both come in from the outside, get the pressure, and it forced Davila to throw it early. Amazing pressure by McGinnis. It, I think it was DeGrade who almost gets a, a, a sacked fumble there, Bull. But then McGinnis comes in late. Huge, huge stop there on third down. But now, this is the play of the game right now, Bull. Fourth down coming up. 35-27. Rattlers on top. They have the ball. Fourth and 10 at the Gladiators' 16-yard line. It's their first fourth down play. Can they stop? Devil a drop back. Has time, steps up, fires, far side. Short. It's caught, but he's short of the first down. It'll be turnover on downs, I believe. Gladiators football, Dustin, I think he was a yard shy of the first down. Yeah, I, I was excited there because he is short. He's going to be about a half a yard short of that first down marker. 
heck of a tackle by Dominic Jones, the captain of this defense, to come up with the play of the game so far. He had a pick six called back, but he makes the stop on fourth down. Marquis White made a catch, and he was pushed forward just in front of the first down marker. We take a break. Gladiators will have the ball when we come back. Down 35-27, 3.46 to go in the third. This is Cleveland Gladiators football, presented by Unique Home Solutions on 543 WUA. Rat Rattlers 35, Gladiators 27, 340 to go in the third quarter. Hey, celebrate your birthday in style at a Gladiators football game. Birthday packages include a visit from our mascot, Rudy, special ticket discounts, and much more. For details, call 216-420-2500. Visit clevelandgladiators.com or any Northern Ohio discount drug mark. Gladiators football presented by Unique Home Solutions. Dropping back the pass, Shane Austin fires deep. Has the man open. It is incomplete. Oh, Dustin, he overthrew Amari Jackson, but there is a flag on the play. Wow. They had a chance there, the Gladiators. Amari Jackson streaking down the middle of the field was wide open. Not sure but he was overthrown. Not sure if this is going to be on the Glads or if it's going to. 25, linebacker moving at the snap. Bonus foul now. It's five yard penalty, automatic first down. Oh, legal defense on Arizona. We'll take the five yards and an extra first down. The Gladiators, though, had a great chance for a touchdown. It's a free play. Free play, and oh. Jackson was 10 yards past the defender, but he was just overthrown by Shane Austin. Fortunately, the penalty moves the ball forward. Gladiators, first and 10 at the 12-yard line, of, at their own 12-yard line, excuse me. Shane Austin under center, drops back, has time, fires far side, complete for a short gain to Amari Jackson. Right now, let's send it down to the field for an update from our own Kenny Rhoda. Hey, guys, on that last defensive st uh, series, kudos to Brandon Stevens. He dislocated his finger on one play, came to the bench. They popped it back in, taped it back up, put him back out on the field, and they came up with that big turnover on down, so the no-fly zone back to 100% health. Kenny, yeah, there's a reason why these team, this team is called the Gladiators. That is hard-nosed, tough gladiator football right there. I love it. Break your nose, break your finger, break your leg, keep playing. Shane Austin looking to go deep. Has a man complete. Just shy of the first down. Complete again to Amari Jackson. Dustin, he's been looking for Amari Jackson a lot here in the third quarter. Yeah, he has. Amari Jackson's had a big game for this team. That's his fifth reception on the, uh, the on the evening. And right there, boy, I think if he just catches that football and almost just falls backwards, he's going to pick up that first down. Instead, he's trying to make a little something extra happen. And he's going to be two yards short of the first down. It's going to bring up a third down. So it'll be third down and two. Gladiators at their own 21-yard line. Shane Austin has Goodman to the right. We haven't heard from Dominic Goodman in a while. Two receivers to the left side. Austin takes the snap, looking left. Fires for Jackson, incomplete. Amari Jackson couldn't hold on. Good coverage again by Jeremy Kellum, who we've mentioned all night. Uh, it's an interesting call there on third and two. You only need, that's almost even, 
about a yard and a half short of that first down. I'm thinking, you know, maybe something a little bit more conservative, maybe even running the football to pick up that first down, but now you're, you're forced here to come back on fourth down and try and pick something up. Goodman and Taylor split out wide to the right. Amari Jackson in the backfield on the left side. So is Chad Schofield tight behind Shane Austin. Austin takes the snap, has plenty of time, steps up, fires deep, has Jackson, incomplete. We're looking for a flag. There is not one. It looked like Amari Jackson might have been held there, Dustin, but no call. I, I think he was held, Bull. I think Arkeep Brown had a little bit of the little bit of the jersey there they didn't call it and that's a huge turnover on downs big time Cal uh, the gladiators had a chance there to maybe tie this game with a touchdown on a two we'll take a quick break this is cleveland gladiators football presented by unique home solutions on by 43 wuab at 92.3 the fan Fifty-eight point six seconds left in the third quarter, here at the Quicken Loans Arena. Thirty-five twenty-seven in favor of the Gladiators. During the month of April, Unique Home Solutions is offering twenty-five percent off all siding. Unique Home Solutions Solid Core Statesman siding is made in the state of Ohio and is twenty-five percent off the entire month of April. For details, call 800-800-1971. Davila drops back and hits Rod Windsor, streaking down the right side. As we're coming back here, Dustin. It's complete for a touchdown, and just like that, it's a two-score lead again. And some poor tackling from the Gladiator secondary. Breaks about two tackles to get it to, into the end zone. Uh, terrific job by Windsor. It's just going to be a little hitch here, I think, on the outside. Yeah, a little hitch going to sit down. And then Brandon Stevens, he's got to make this tackle. Dominic Jones misses as well, and then at the end, Willie McGinnis. Yeah, three missed tackles. A little bit too late. Yeah, three yeah. missed tackles. That's not good enough. Extra point is up and good. So as the quarter comes to an end, the Rattlers increase their lead 42-27 as we head to the fourth quarter. This is Cleveland Gladiators football presented by Unique Home Solutions on my 43 WAB at 92-3, the fan.
The Gladiators will get the ball to start the fourth quarter at the queue. Rattlers lead it 42-27. It's now time for the Medical Mutual third quarter stats. Total yards in the game, Arizona 319, Cleveland 144. Rattlers have eight more first downs in this game and one more turnover by the Gladiators. Those numbers, big time in favor of the Rattlers, Dustin. They are, but it doesn't mean the game's over, Bull. This is arena football, and That's right. it is fun. The fourth quarters are always the most entertaining, and the Gladiators are, are only down two scores, about to get the football back here to, to start the fourth quarter. I, I, I feel like they're still in the game, but this is a very, very important possession here to make it a one-score game and then put it on your defense to make a stop and put a little pressure also on Arizona. At this point, the Gladiators have to score every time they have the ball. They can't yeah. afford an empty trip. No, no, they, they've got to score right now in a hurry. That last possession, very disappointing. Now the fourth and one, fourth and, fourth and about a yard and a half, rather, and they are unable to come up with the conversion. That was a huge possession, needed to get some points there. Instead, you know, Arizona gets the football. They take advantage of it. They get the points off the turnover on downs. And so here we sit, uh, sit rather, down 15 points. Uh, Nick Dabble has been great for the Rattlers today. He is 24 of 33, 302 yards. Six touchdowns, one pick. Back live at the Quicken Loans Arena, starting the fourth quarter. I'm Adam the Bull. He's Dustin Fox. We're the Bull and Fox from 92.3 The Fan. You know us. Our man Kenny Rhodes is on the sideline. You know him too. And we're having a great time. It'll be a better time when the Gladiators rally, hopefully, to win. The return for the end zone. Dominic Jones trips. Nobody near him. Dustin will get a chance for a turn. But he slips down, trips down. Uh, uh, the, the turf got him at the seven-yard line. A little turf monster got him. Yeah. It happens. Dominic Jones told, just told us the other day he's not really doing returns anymore. Uh, this is the first time we saw him tonight. He said he, he kind of wants to get off of it. Yeah. You know, again, he sacrifices his body so much on defense, doesn't really want to take any more hits, of course. But for whatever reason, they've got him out there. He's a dangerous return guy. I think they're desperate here to get anything going. That's why you see him back deep, Bull. Shane Austin comes out here. He's 12 of 24, 142 yards, two touchdowns, two picks, his first possession of the fourth quarter. Austin, with all three receivers to the left, drops back, now steps up, fires. Oh, incomplete. Right through the hands of Amari Jackson, Dustin. Would have been good for 11 or 12. Well, here's the key. You're down 15 points. Plays like that. You can't miss them. Nope. They, they got to come up with the easy plays, the plays that are supposed to be made. You know, Mari Jackson has has had his fair share of struggles this afternoon. Also, has made some big plays. He's been a go-to target for Shane Austin all night. But that one right there, you, I bet he wishes he had back. So it'll be second and ten for the Gladiators at their own seven-yard line. Goodman in motion to the left side. Austin takes the snap. Nice pocket. Fires downfield. Complete to Dominic Goodman, and that's good enough for our Gladiators first down. That's good. Something like that, just to build that confidence back up, move the chains, allow Shane Austin to relax a little bit. Now that last drive, they had the, the first down off a of penalty, but they were they, they struggled. They, they got the eight-yard pickup on first down. They just couldn't move it after that. First and ten Gladiators at their own 18-yard line. Goodman in motion. Austin drops back. Fires downfield. And once again, Amari Jackson, Dustin, drops the ball with a chance for another first down. Got to get him some new gloves. He's having some struggles here, especially on this drive. In fact, they're going to pull him out of the game. Bowl. Yeah, they're, they're... Andre Thurman coming in for him. It's the first time I believe we've seen Thurman on the field. Yeah, Thurman's a veteran. He's been around the league. Heck, he's been playing in the NFL since 2004. Played on five NFL teams. And is now being a part of this this Gladiators team as a veteran receiver. Veteran receivers typically sure-handed. Yeah, definitely. And Coach Tun a little frustrated with Amari Jackson. He gives him a breather. Shane Austin fires downfield, and it, it's caught that time by Andre Thurman, who just came in the game. About a five-yard game, but a flag is down on the play. And we'll see who the calls. And I think it's going to be on the Rattlers. We'll wait and hear from the referee. Here he is. Oh. 28 defense. 10 yards added on to the end of the run, first down. Personal foul on JT Gilmore, Dustin, for a hit to the face. That's a huge penalty right there. Yeah, because you're going to get the yardage from the from the completion, which was about five yards, so then you add the 10 to that. It's a 15-yard gainer, and now the Gladiators all of a sudden in Rattlers territory, inside the Rattlers 20-yard line. Still plenty of time left in this ballgame. Right. Instead of a third and seven, it's first and 10 Gladiators. 
at the Rattlers 18 yard line. Penalties in this game, 11 for 93 yards on the Rattlers, five on the Gladiators so far tonight. Hopefully it'll stay at five. Shane Austin has time, now rolling left, fires for the end zone. Once again, miscommunication. There was a hit on Austin at the end, no flag down. Dustin, the only player near that ball was Jeremy Kellum for the Rattlers. Well, uh, the reason this ball was so errantly thrown was because Antosh Hawthorne was breathing down Shane Austin's neck. Antosh yeah. Hawthorne plays for Arizona, and he had a, a, an easy uh, pass rush to Austin. In fact, I thought there could have been a potential roughing the passer call after the, the ball was thrown. No call. Second down. Thurman remains in the game for Jackson. Goodman on the move. Austin has time. Fires. Completes. Just holding on is Goodman. He bobbled the ball. There's a flag on the play. Back behind the line of scrimmage. Looked like Goodman might lose it on the way down, Dustin. They say he held on. The Rattlers are saying he dropped the ball. I thought he held on to it. Yeah, and I think the referee made... Personal foul. High hit on the passer. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Another penalty for roughing the passer on the Rattlers. Uh, hard to tell. We're looking at the replay to see if... Goodman held on to the ball. He bobbles it going down. He grabs it, pushes it against his face mask. He caught it, Paul. It looks like he caught the ball. Dustin. I think you're right. A heck of a job by Goody. Well, David Tyree action. Yeah, he, 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 has, he has two hands on the ball and yeah. another part of it on his helmet slash face mask. He's able to just haul it in. I know Arizona was thinking about challenging that call, but again, nothing to challenge. Great catch. First and goal from the five. Taylor in motion. Austin under center trying to cut the lead. Drops back. Has time. Fires. End zone incomplete. Intended for Goodman. I thought maybe his left arm got held, but no flag on the play. 42-27 Rattlers. Just over 11 minutes to go and rolling here in the fourth quarter. Gladiators in obvious four down territory. They must score a touchdown here to keep this one going, Dustin. There's no question, Bull. The game is on the line with this possession right here, potentially. Seeing as how the Gladiators have struggled stopping Arizona all night. Thurman in motion. Austin all kinds of time. Now under pressure, late fires. Far corner of the end zone for Taylor. It's incomplete. He overthrew him. It's funny. I expect a flag on every play now. Yeah. I'm looking for it, but no flag on that yeah. one. No, Austin's trying to set something up here to Colin Taylor. Colin Taylor's frustrated. He thinks he got held. Well, he did get held because they, what they were trying to do was get him coming backside, almost like they call it like a Y hide, where he kind of pretends like he's going to block, and then he comes backside. And what happened was Arizona just held him up, threw off the timing of the route, and he's letting the official know. Coverage on the play by Arkeith Brown. Big play here. Third and goal. Gladiators down 15. Goodman in motion. Austin drops back under pressure. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Goodman, touchdown, Gladiators. We do have a flag on the play. We'll see who the call is on. It's going to be a defensive pass interference. It's going to be declined. You are right. Look at that. The Gladiators cut the lead. It's now 42 34, a uh, 33, excuse me, with the extra point. I was just going to tell you, Bull, before we snapped this football, before they snapped it, you got to try to get the football to Goody. You know what they do? They went back to the very first play they did to score a touchdown, that little option route with Goodman where he's able to box out his defender, positions himself perfectly, he's able to score the touchdown. And the amazing thing, Dustin, is Kellum. They missed the PAT. They missed the extra point. Wow, so it remains a two-possession game. That really hurts the second missed extra point. By the way, Kellum had great coverage on that touchdown. Great play anyway. 42-33, Gladiators still down two scores, down nine. 9.39 to go. This is Gladiators Football, presented by Unique Home Solutions on 543 WUAB and 92.3 The Fan.
Back live at the Quicken Loans Arena. It's Adam the Bull, Dustin Fox from 92-3, the fan. Rattlers leading the Gladiators, 42-33. Dustin, a huge missed extra point, keeps this one as a two-possession game. Yeah, Trofino has had his struggles this afternoon, this evening rather. Missed two uh, extra points, Bull. That's huge right now. This could be a seven-point game right now. Instead, it's a nine-point game, as you mentioned, two-possession game. That's critical. Yeah, without a doubt. So with not with the time running thin at 9.39. And, and Arizona's ready for an onside kick, potentially. There you go. Arizona's got all but one man up at the, at the uh, Gladiators' 10-yard line. Trevino's done a great job at kickoffs. We'll see what he tries to do here. They do attempt the onside kick. It's near side. It's loose. Who's got it? We got I it. think the Gladiators have it. I think they have it. We're waiting to see what is the call. Discussion down on the field. I believe I, if it hits the sideline, I believe it could go to Arizona. Okay. There's a discussion now on the field. And it is going to be Rattler's ball. It must have just hit the sideline before the Gladiators hey, recovered the, the ball. Was the ball was still in kicks. Hit the wall. My wall is dead. First down. Okay, so it did hit the wall. Tough to tell from our angle if it had definitely hit the wall. But uh, a lot of bodies in there. Yeah, it's still, even when we looked at the replay, it was kind of hard to tell. The Gladiators came very close, Dustin. And yeah. now this leaves the Rattlers in fantastic field position. First and 10 at the Gladiators, 17 with 9.19 to go. you got to get a stop. Yeah, I like I, I like Coach Tunt's call there. Why not? I, I, yeah, why not? Very aggressive. I like it. Davila has time. Fires. Looking for the end zone. Has a man. Touchdown. Into the end zone, Kerry Reed, and just like that, Kerry Reed, who's had a big night along with Rod Windsor, comes wide open in the end zone, and the Rattlers increase their lead. That's a bummer. Yeah, that's a real bummer, Bull. You're right. And, and Dominic Jones is looking at Terrence Sanders. They're pointing at each other like, that was you. No, that was you. A little miscommunication there in the back end. All right, so the lead now is 16 points. So again, a, a, a big PAT yeah, right here. Right, 48-33. And so this extra point, that was, a, again, that's will make it a three-possession game. Yeah, it will. There's the snap. The kick is up, and it is good. 49-33. That is the score. Actually, it's still a two-possession game, Dustin, because they were up. Gladiators were down nine. Now they're down right. 16, but they need two two-point conversions. This is Cleveland Gladiators football, presented by Unique Home Solutions on My 43 WUAB 92.3 The Fan. Back live at the Quicken Loans Arena where the Arizona Rattlers lead the Cleveland Gladiators 49-33. We have 8.21 to go in the fourth quarter, and we're looking for a Gladiators comeback. They're about to get the ball. Hey, enroll in the Gladiators Football Alliance, the exclusive club for Gladiators season ticket holders. 
members receive year-round benefits, special discounts, and much more. For details, call 216-420-2222 or visit clevelandgladiators.com. Gladiators football presented by Unique Home Solutions. Here's the return from, the, from in the end zone to the 5, back to the 10, and dropped at about the 12-yard line is Dominic Jones. Gladiators must get not six, but eight in this possession, Dustin. Yeah, and now sense of urgency becomes an issue. you got to try and get to the line of scrimmage as quick as possible because you don't know how much time it's going to take for you to score, and you're down two scores. So, uh, again, you're, what you're looking at here from a gladiator standpoint is, as you say, got to score, got to get two, and then you, you may even be looking at another onside kick attempt. Yes, definitely a possibility after the last one. They could not get it. Now under eight minutes to go, down 16. Shane Austin with a man in motion. Goodman left side, has time, fires to Goodman. It's completed the 22-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 23, close to a first down. And they're saying it is a first down, 10-yard gain to Dominic Goodman. That's good. Move the chains on first down. Get a nice little pickup, but again, you got to hurry up. I know there's seven and a half left to go, which is plenty of time, but you could be looking at maybe needing three possessions. Amari Jackson back in the game for the Gladiators. The throw is complete to Jackson. He has it at the 15 and is brought down at the 10. So Dustin, last possession, Jackson was benched, but now he's back out there after the two drops. Held on to that one. Good throw, Shane Austin. And the Gladiators are in business. An 18-yard completion. I think it was a good call ball to get Thurman in the game. Let Jackson go to the sidelines, you know, refocus, rethink, whatever he has got to do, come back out here with a renewed sense of confidence. And right there you see it as they picks up a first down. First and goal at the 10. Shane Austin has plenty of time. Now the pressure comes late. Throws it to the big man up the middle. Kit O'Brien for a gain of six yards. His second reception of the season, and we've seen him do it time and time again, especially a lot more last year. And, Bull, as you and I were watching the pregame warm-ups, Shane Austin and Kid O'Brien working on that very same play. Yeah, and a huge hit on the tackle by Ben Wells, but it comes too late. Looks like more of like a gain of seven. So the Gladiators on the doorstep, 6.20 to go, and counting, down 16, second and goal at the three-yard line. Three receivers all to the left. Shane Austin from the right, fires for the end zone. It is incomplete and nearly intercepted by Marquise Floyd. That would have been the ball game, most likely, had he picked it off. Nearly intercepted, nearly caught yeah. off the goalpost. Remember, the goalposts in arena football are live. Uh, but a fan. Yeah, Mari Jackson I think almost. A, I think a fan or, or maybe even our red hat down there <laughs> got a hand on it late. But thankfully, that was not intercepted, and we have another opportunity here. All right, you got, this is clearly four down territory, as we all know, stoppage on the play. So it's still second down. Second and goal at the three yard line. Second and goal. Three yard line, six minutes to go. The Gladiators need to score. Taylor in motion to the right side, along with Jackson. Going left for Goodman in the end zone. Touchdown! The Gladiators! A dominant Goodman in the end zone on the far side. You said go to Goodman. They went again, Dustin. Touchdown, Gladiator. Why would you go to anybody else? Anybody other than number 16 down here inside the red zone. Dominic Goodman, the surest hands on the team, the biggest body guy. He's able to position himself again right in the flats. He gets his back to the defensive back. He corners him right there. Good throw in a spot that only Dominic Goodman can get. And, of course, they will go for two. Yeah, they need this. Try to cut the lead down to eight, make it a one-possession game. Shane Austin from the two, takes the snap, looking right side, has time, fires in the end zone, it is, it is caught, it's Dominic Goodman for two, and the Gladiators are within eight, it's 49-41 with 5.06 to go. Two for 1-6, one, 2-1-6, two, one, That's right, they, they got it done, baby, <laughs> in the 2-1-6, and this game That's ain't right. over yet, people, stick around, don't you go anywhere, on TV, on the radio, this is Gladiators Football, presented by Unique Home Solutions on 543 WUAB and 92.3 The Fan.
Welcome back to Quicken Loans Arena, Arizona 49, Cleveland 41. Shane Austin, Gladiators quarterback with me. Shane, first the touchdown pass. What was the play call, and how did it unfold? It was just a fade to Goody. He's kind of got the hot hand right now, so we want to find a way to get Goody the ball, and, uh, you know, he just finds a way to make great catches. And the two-point conversion back shoulder throw? Another one. We're just trying to find, isolate Goody and give him a chance, and uh, they played it well, but Goody made a great catch. All right, see if the defense can come up with a stop, get you guys the ball again. Thanks, Kenny. The ball is loose on the kickoff. It's free. Who's got it? It looks like the Rattlers hold on. Dustin, they did not try the onside kick. The Rattlers thought they might. It went off the net and flew to like the 10-yard line, and the Rattlers just jump on top of the ball at the nine oh. a second before the Gladiators. My goodness. It, it caught him a little bit off guard, Bull. As you say, they were preparing for the onside kick. Glads kick it deep. And it didn't hit the net, it hit the goal post. And remember, that's a live football, as you say. They could have they could have got an onside kick, essentially, and had it inside Arizona territory. All right, Cleveland, wherever you are, get on your feet right now. Less than five minutes to go, eight-point game. Complete pass for the Rattlers. And it looks like it's going to be a first down. Once again, Kerry Reed. Uh, Davila has been great. 26-35, 329 yards. Dustin, he's got seven touchdowns. And one pick, but this game is not over. 49-41, 4:20 to go. I think the Gladiators need help for the fans. I think everybody at the arena, everybody watching on TV, everybody listening on the radio should stand up right now and get into this game. Well, I'll tell you what, we're standing up right now yeah. in the booth here in Quick and Loans Arena, trying to give them a little bit of energy. And, and I guarantee you one thing: get a tip ball, strip. Sack, fumble, something happens here. It's going to go nuts. Reed in motion, handoff to the big fella in the backfield. Not much. Michael Benson gains about a yard, if that much. Some pushing and shoving after the play. Not the biggest guy in the world, but certainly tough. Dominic Jones going at it with some of the offensive linemen uh, from the Rattlers. 3.40 to go, clock running. Second and nine for the Rattlers at their own 21-yard line. And the clock will run all the way down until one minute. And that last minute of arena football is about as exciting as you can get. But the Glads are hoping to get the football back before that by creating some sort of a turnover. Davila takes the snap, has time, steps up in the pocket, fires complete. A first down and more. The catch made by Marquis White who comes free at the 18-yard line. A pickup of about 12 on the play, and it's a first down for the Rattlers with now three minutes to go in the game. 11-yard game. First and 10 at the Gladiators 18. If we're ever going to make a stop, the time is now, Dustin. You really need a turnover here. And hey, look, what people don't understand is you can't get conservative if you're Arizona. you got to keep the pedal to the metal. They're trying to score points here. They're not trying to run the clock out because that's that's darn near impossible. Davila takes the snap. Reed in motion right side. Flag sack. The ball's loose. The Gladiators have it to the 10, to the 5. But there is a couple of flags on the plate. Anthony DeGrate came up with the loose ball, Dustin. I think they're offsides. We're waiting for the call. You think they were offsides. It was one of the very few times they've gotten pressure offsides. on Davila today. 56, oh. defense. Five-yard penalty. First down. You were right. Willie McGinnis was offsides. Otherwise, the Gladiators would have had a first and goal to five. Yeah. He just jumped a second early. Just had it a second early, and, and he was the man. Willie McGinnis, the man that makes the play. Before DeGrate picks it up. Oh, boy, that would have been a huge play. All right, but instead, the Rattlers have it back. It's a first down and five at the Gladiators' 13. 2.28 to go, fourth quarter. Rattlers 49, Gladiators 41. Both teams with three timeouts. Both teams fighting for energy. The fans are pumped up as down the stretch we come in the home opener for the Cleveland Gladiators live at the queue. Out of the bull, Dustin Fox, we're having a ball. We hope you're having a ball too. And it'll be even better if the Gladiators can pull this out. Davila takes the snap, has time, fires complete. Broken tackle, wins are racing for the end zone, and he's in. No, oh, they're going to say he's out at the one-yard line, Dustin. They just, just short. got him out of bounds. Yeah, just shy of the end zone. And this is a, you know, this is a difficult spot to be in, and you see Arizona's going to come in with their heavy package. 
They bring in big number 70, Marcus Pittman, a defensive lineman out of Troy, 290 pounds. They're just going to try and pound this football in from the one-yard line. Yeah, you mentioned it. Minute 34 to go. Clock is running. Gladiators running out of time. Davila behind him is Benson. Benson gets the carry right side. He is stopped. In fact, he might have lost a yard. Huge stop by the defense, but can they stop him a few more times? I would think on four, Dustin, I would think on fourth down, it's a timeout by the Gladiators, the first of their three timeouts. 119 to go, fourth quarter. Rattlers 41, Gladiators, uh, I'm sorry, Rattlers 49, Gladiators 41. I would think that if the, Rat, if the Gladiators stopped them, that on fourth down, the Rattlers would probably try a field goal here to get up two scores, wouldn't you think? That'd make a lot of sense. Yeah. It'd make a lot of sense, but you may be a little bit nervous if you miss that field goal. All of a sudden, that, that's a live ball. Maybe it's returned for a touchdown. I don't know. To me, I'd kick the field goal here if it ever gets to fourth down, but we've got a long way to go before yeah. we get there. Hopefully we get a chance to find out. Hey, folks, every Gladiators home game offers amazing drink specials at the queue. Get select draft beers for only 2 bucks and Pepsi for only one at the game. For tickets, call 216-420-2222. Visit livinggladiators.com or any Northern Ohio discount truck bar. Gladiators football is presented by Unique home solutions second and goal at the two rattlers by eight with the ball devil looking left side fires it is incomplete and into the crowd and it's third down and goal at the two yard line no flags is there a flag no i think you may there have is there is a flag on the play in the end zone on the on the far side does the throw is to the near side this is a huge call coming up huge call send it down to the field Still some discussion. The referee doesn't seem to know what the call is. There's some confusion down there. Let's see what he has to say. Illegal defense. Oh. Illegal blitz by the linebacker. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Wow, that's a crusher, Dustin. Instead of third and goal at the two and needing one more stop, it's first and goal at the one. Yeah, the yardage is not an issue. Yeah, it's, right. It's the down. It's the one stop versus yeah. the three. And with only a min minute 14 to go, every play is huge. I would think if you're the Rattlers here, you're probably running into the end zone with Big Benson, Big Michael sure. Benson. We'll see what they decide to do. All right, one minute to go. That's it, the one-minute warning. Rattlers 49, Gladiators 41. This is Cleveland Gladiators football. Presented by Unique Home Solutions, on 543 WUAB, and 92.3 The Fan. Subway. Welcome back. The crunch is back. Oh, sorry. Get your Fritos chicken enchilada sub now at Subway. By University Hospital's Illyria Medical Center. By ABC Equipment Rental. Your Cleveland home for Kubota construction equipment. By NovaCare, the exclusive and official sports rehabilitation provider of the Cleveland Gladiators. And by Unique Home Solutions, the presenting partner of your Cleveland Gladiators. Back live at the Quicken Loans Arena. Adam the Bull, Dustin Fox. We got a barn burner here. One minute to go, fourth quarter. Rattlers lead 49-41 in the home opener for the Gladiators. The crowd's into it, we're into it. Can the Gladiators pull off a miracle at the end of the game and stop the Rattlers, Dustin? First and goal at the one with one minute left. Well, they're going to try as, as best they can. It's going to be tough here from the one-yard line. 
Davila fakes the handoff to Benson, and it is incomplete. He actually faked the handoff, excuse me, to Reed, threw it to Benson, incomplete. And that's huge now because the clock will stop that's right. under a minute on an incomplete pass. That's right. If you don't gain forward progress in the final minute, the clock stops, so that is huge. Yeah, that, that, essentially what that does, Bull, that saves us a timeout. It saves us a right. timeout because you've got two remaining. Had they ran the football there, you stop them, we'd have had to burn a timeout. The attendance for tonight's home opener, Dustin, 12,776. That's a really nice crowd. Yeah, that's a great opener. crowd. Great crowd. All right, timeout looks like called by the Rattlers. Yes, indeed. All right, let's reset what's going on here. This is Gladiators football. It's the home opener. It's the cue. Adam the Bull, Dustin Fox, Kenny wrote it down on the field. The Rattlers lead the Gladiators 49-41. These teams met up last year, right here, for the championship of the Arena Bowl. Rattlers won easily that night. It's been a much tougher battle tonight. But right now, the Rattlers, or the Gladiators, excuse me, Dustin, are on the short end of the stick, down eight, 56-6 to go. Yeah, you think about it, that last matchup, Bull, the Gladiators lost 70-42 to right yeah. here in the Arena Bowl. A much different outcome tonight. And they've got a chance here now with its second down. In I'm telling you, this last minute is going to be so fascinating because even if Arizona scores, the Gladiators will still have a chance. Handoff right up the middle, and no first down. Michael Benson, the 275-pound fullback, powered it through the middle, but the Gladiators said, not now, no way. It's third and goal at the one-yard line. They have a chance here, Dustin. 51.6 to go. If they stop him here... I would assume the Rattlers would try the field goal. Uh, I think the Gladiators used the timeout there. He did gain a little bit of yardage okay. there, which allows the clock to then move. If he would have been a stop for a no gain, it would have That's been too uh, a, a situation where the Gladiators wouldn't have, to have had to use a timeout. One Gladiator timeout left. Davila takes the snap. Hands off up the middle and stopped once again. Michael Benson is stopped short and it's fourth down and the gladiators i believe will call their last time out gladiators are saying the ball came out here the clock's still moving well they'll burn no, they stop the clock they'll burn a timeout steve tuck wants them to take a look at the replay because the gladiators defense believe the football may have came out wow that's what hey right now dominic jones is saying the same thing and it'd be an automatic review here under a minute and we're, we're going to take a look at the replay ourselves it's too hard to see from the angle we have. It's close, Bull. Dustin, what do you think? I think it's close. It's hard to see. I want, Was his knee down? I want down. to take a look at it again to see if his knee went down. And here comes the flag. There is going to be a challenge. It's impossible to tell from the angle I'm looking at. The previous play of a fumble. Because the ball comes out, but you, in the replays I'm seeing, I see the knee go down, and I can't see where the ball is. It's blocked. Hopefully, oh, this would be huge. the reviewers have a better angle than we just saw on the replay. Here's where we stand. Rattlers lead 49-41, 43.9 seconds to go in the home opener for the Gladiators. If it's not a fumble, it'll be fourth and goal inside the one. If it is a fumble, the Gladiators down eight will have it with 43.9 to go. Again, they're showing us another angle, by the way. And it is really hard to well, tell. Well, I think there's a slight chance that football may have come loose. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. We're looking at the replay again. We're trying to get you the answer, folks. He has fallen down, it's and close. you just can't. It's, it's just it's, so hard it's to so see. It's so hard to see. Hopefully, they have a better angle where yeah. they can get a view of it. For, for our fans, unfortunately, I at least have not seen a replay that shows me Definite proof that as quickly as they've looked at it, I have a feeling they're going to come back and, and have it be a fourth down. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's going to be a fourth down. They, that was a very quick view from the officials. Honestly, you don't even see when the ball no. comes out from any of the angles. The previous play. The referee's mic is going in and out. It's the timeout. All right, so. That's, it's going to be fourth down. The referee's mic was cutting in and out there. What he did say is fourth down. Well, here's the good news. You were going to have to use the timeout either way. Yeah. And so you, you burned it on a challenge. Now the hope here is they missed the field goal, right? I mean, they're kicking a field goal. 
Yeah. Shelly has made every extra point today. This is basically an extra point. Yeah. You need to miss. Otherwise, if he makes it, you're down 11. You need two scores with no timeouts less than oh, 43.9. Hoping for a miracle. The holder is B.J. Coleman, the backup quarterback. Long snap. There's the kick. It's up. And it is no good. It's no good. It's no good. It's Gladiators football with 37.5 seconds left. But there is a flag on the play. Are you kidding me? However, Dustin, Terrence Sanders is signaling. He thinks it's on the Rattlers. We'll wait and see. Wow, the Gladiators are still alive. If the penalty's on the Rattlers, it's still an eight-point game. And they got a shot. They got a shot to win this ball game. They got a shot to tie the ball game. Yeah. And send it to overtime. That's right. Wow. They got a that shot. That would be awesome. All right. We're going to wait to get word. Hopefully, the referee fixed his mic. What the heck's he doing out there? Let's pull it together, ref. <laughs> Kick catch interference. Breaking the five yard belt. 73. It's a five yard penalty. First down. Well, the ref didn't say it, but the call was on the offense. Yeah. Well, what happens is both the kick was missed. They have to allow us a chance to catch it, right? right. So it's, as Cheat was trying to go up to catch the football off of the uh, field goal post. He's interfered with. It was interfered with, yeah. yes. Correct. All right, here's where we stand, folks. We got a shot. Gladiator fans, get on your feet. 49-41. Rattlers on top. 37 and a half ticks left. Here's Shane Austin from his own six. Fires quickly. Near side. It's caught by Taylor. He's to the 25, and he's pushed out of bounds at the 22-yard line of the Arizona Rattlers. And the Gladiators are in business, Dustin Fox. 22 yards away from Painter with 32 seconds left. Beautiful decision by Shane Austin. He goes right to the hot route, right off the bat. He hits it to Taylor two yards off the line of scrimmage, and then Taylor does all the work getting the football down the field. And how about this? He gets out of bounds to stop the clock. It's a gain of 23. First and 10. Gladiators at the 21 of the Rattlers. Austin has time. Fires. It is tipped. Oh, what a great play by Ben Wells. Dominic Goodman was open, Dustin. Oh, boy. He was open for a quick second yeah. there. And then all of a sudden, Wells, the Jack well, linebacker. Yeah, Wells, the Jack linebacker, does a good job getting over there just to get his hands on it. You know, the scary part about these these plays, when these balls get tipped, especially in these situations, you can't have an interception. An incomplete pass we can live with. Plenty of time left here for the Glads in Rattler's territory. Second and 10 at the Rattler's 21. Austin has the snap. Plenty of time, steps up, fires. We gotta see a penalty. Where is the flag? Dustin Amari Jackson was grabbed by the arm and spun around. What happened there? That's ridiculous. Again, a no call in the secondary. We're looking at the replay right now. I'm telling you, Jackson got grabbed and spun around. That's hard to see on the replay, but he did. But now the Gladiators, Dustin, looking at a third and 10 at the Rattlers 21 with 26.8 seconds to go. It doesn't get more exciting than this. Goodman split out to the left. Taylor in motion to the left. Austin in trouble. Fires down the field. It's intercepted. Oh, the pass was intended for Amari Jackson on the near side of the field. And Jeremy Kellum picks it off at the nine-yard line. And that might seal the deal with 20 seconds left. What a play by Kellum. Well, the play was really set up bull by Antosh Hawthorne up the middle. Yeah. He got pressure in the face of Shane Austin immediately. There was no time for Austin to even think about where he was going to go with the football. He's trying to make a play, trying to make something happen down the field, and then Callum just comes up with a with a good play. I'm sure they'll take a look at it to make sure that yeah. it was an interception because he did catch it against his body on the ground. They won't take, they a, won't look. take a look. Oh, the quarterback, Davila, takes a snap. That'll be the game. Goes forward a yard, and that'll do it. By the way, the pass was intended for Colin Taylor, not Amari Jackson. Either way, it's picked. The final seconds ticking off the clock, Dustin. And the Gladiators are going to fall short, 49-41. to 41, But a hell of a game. Yeah, heck of a game by Cleveland to fight back. You know, they, they get themselves in position here to, to tie the game up on the last drive. A lot of credit goes to, uh, to these guys, the resiliency that they've shown. Think about this, Bull. With the turnovers they had early in the game, the you know two interceptions, turnover on downs, to be able to, to even be in a position to tie the game up this late, 
Uh, credit to Steve Tunn and his guys. Yeah, the yardage was heavily, heavily in yeah. favor of the Arizona Rattlers, Dustin. So like you said, it was based on the way the game went with the turnovers, with the yardage differential, the way Arizona was moving the ball. It's amazing the Gladiators had a chance in the closing seconds. Yeah, Arizona outgained Cleveland by almost 150, 151 yards. Yeah. So you talk about that. They had more first downs. They, they, they played a better football game. You know, they, they, they deserved to win the game, but the Glads fought back and had an opportunity and just couldn't capitalize late. All right, Dustin, let's send it down to the field for the third member of our team. Kenny wrote a disappointing loss, but a good effort at the end. Yeah, a great effort coming back and making a game of it late in the fourth quarter. And as you were saying during the broadcast, Bull, this thing's never over with the way the Arena Football League rules are. And give the Gladiators credit. They had a chance there to possibly tie the game, send it into overtime. But too many self-inflicted wounds. A couple of missed extra points, three interceptions, a turnover on downs. And then they had some calls go against them when they created turnovers. One of them was accurate on the offsides. The other one was questionable. And so when you, you look at this, you see an eight-point loss. It could have been worse. But give the Gladiators credit for not giving up. And when you consider how badly they were beaten on this field, in the Arena Bowl last year. Uh, this is a show, at least in my opinion, of improvement, and they just have to make sure they don't turn the football over. That's the biggest key. And when you give a team like Arizona extra opportunities to score, they're usually going to take advantage of it. Kenny, you're 100% right. And Dustin, as Kenny points out, the Rattlers, they've been the dominant team in this league. They've been the dominant team yeah. in the Arena Football League, right? They've won three championships in a row. They've been to four Arena Bowls in a row. They crushed, as Kenny said, crushed the gladiators in the championship last year but despite not playing their best game the gladiators hung right in with the rattlers and fell just short uh a disappointing loss but in the grand scheme of things this gladiators team is still with amongst the best oh, teams my in the goodness league. it's such a long season you know 17 more games to play uh they've or 16 more games rather to, to play they've got a great opportunity here to do something special and they built something here. You know, they've got the quarterback position solidified. They've got an excellent coach in Steve Tunn. And I give them a lot of credit here for fighting their way back. All right, folks, we are not done on 92.3 The Fan. But if you're watching us on TV, we're finished on TV. But, hey, if you're watching us on TV, turn on the radio right now. 92.3 The Fan. But for now, this is going to do it for My43 WAB. Thanks to all that watched us on TV tonight. It's been a whole lot of fun, but we still got the post-game show coming up right here on 92.3 The Fan. The Cleveland Gladiators football presented by Unique Home Solutions on My43 WUAB and 92.3 The Fan. Final score again, Arizona 49 and Cleveland 41.